right, guys. Hope you're all doing well. Nobody was expecting the dreaded 12-minute uh, early start, but here we are with some Friday Night Age Vampires. And I'm going to be trying to play tonight. Should be fun. So I am on HRE. Let's set no teams. We actually have a couple spots open. One spot left. So if we've got Ventus, Judy, Sanka, Wookie, Davok, and Arch. Arch, something like that. And High on Milk as well. Okay. Should be fun. How you guys doing? All right. Select your sieves. Let's get this party started. Let's have some fun. Welcome, everybody. Welcome. Hands feeling a little bit better today, so I'm going to be giving it a try. We'll go with the yellow Holy Romans. Looks cool with all the relics and everything. And uh, I think we're about ready to go. We're going to do a mega random standard one right now, and it looks like everybody has picked their sieve. So let's fire this beast off and have some fun. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, HRE is my favorite. And it looks like, wow, we actually have... Everyone is playing a different sieve. No repeats. Usually there's a couple French or you know some English... Mongols are also quite popular because of their ability to relocate and to take down enemy bases for money. Yeah, we started early. You know, got to keep people on their toes. All right. So we obviously know what's going on here. The plan is going to be getting relics. That is going to be it. Very excited. We got a lot of cool stuff on the horizon. I know Stormgate just put out a video on some gameplay. It looks pretty cool. Very excited to cover that. Of course, we'll be doing Age of Empires very heavily when the expansion does come out um, next month on the 14th. And uh, Total War, of course. Total War is good to keep rolling, rolling, rolling. <laughs> See, kill. I'm sorry you weren't ready. Oh, no. Doing some shoulder rolls right now. Life's good, man. Michael says, watching the stream from the other day. I know, they're pretty long. It's a lot of, It's a lot to get through, man. It's a lot to get through, but... Age Vampire FFAs are really interesting. It's very unique. It's like it's like long form. It's almost like a podcast. You could just put it on and kind of jam. And there's there's ebbs and flows, and you know things uh, popping off. It's very fun. All right, so we got a good spot already. We got a corner spot. The only other you know god tier thing that could really go down now would be getting our own personal <laughs> like water or something nearby, which certainly could happen. A lot of trees. Looks like it's going to be some stealth forest. All right, and let's keep jamming around here. Very good. Too early, says Nomad. What? You were you were expecting me to start late, huh? I see. Alright, so let's find some sheep in the tree line. There's going to be riots in the streets, huh? A lot of new faces in here for sure. I'm sure in the next match, don't worry, we'll be getting some of the, the champions of old. Don't you guys worry. You can't wait to get Age of Empires and be a gremlin in these games. What is my day job? I do this full-time. I do YouTube full-time, yeah. Before YouTube, I was um, an athletic director, actually. So I ran sporting events. Um, yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was it was a good gig. It was a good gig. But, you know, I uh, this I just love doing this stuff. It's great. So Obviously, it was tricky. So, yeah, I was an athletic director in the nonprofit sector. So I did, like, a lot of, um, a lot of sports for, like, charity events and uh, different things like that. And, um, yeah, it was a great gig. But, you know, I was working. Um, are you going to deliver some sheep to me? No, it doesn't look like it. I was working so many hours, and the you know obviously the pay in that sector is brutal, right? Davok is very high level conquer. Be careful, him all you. Yeah, good. Yeah, no, I know Davok. I played him in uh, Dune Spice Wars. Yeah, we've we've uh, we've had our scraps. I just have to hope I don't spawn next to him. I haven't really been playing one v ones too much. I, I played a little bit. I got back to Diamond, which is good. Um, might be able to might make a little bit of a go at conquer for this uh, end of the season. Could be fun. All right, it's cool. Slap you down here. Get you guys going. Everything's going fine. Friar Chuck is giving the power of the Jesus to these guys. And uh, yeah, let's get it, man. Much, yeah, much stealth. Very sneaky we are. What is Pop, my lord? Is he asking, like, population? 200. Okay, I think uh, maybe somebody who's a little bit newer is asking about the uh, Pop here. So, so far, only um, one relic in sight, which is not what we want to see, but we have a long time to explore and scout and everything. We're going to slap down an Aachen right here. And it's going to be giving a, you know, a pretty nice little uh, boon to our wood and gold income. And as well as food, depending on the circumstances. So They're not really finding sheep super effectively, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. All right. Let's get you guys to do this. Let's get the Aachen Chapel. We can set it up right here, which is going to be fine. And just keep the workers jumping on that. One, two. Turn in. Do this. All right. Don't kill me, turn please. <laughs> well, it depends on who's next to me. You're almost diamond. Yeah, right on. Right on. All right. So, so far, so good. And then we're going to hit the wood relatively hard, get some defenses up before we try and get Castle Age. I like to get Fast Castle as um, HRE. You know, it feels like the way to me. All right, we got AC over here. Let's keep exploring for relics. We need to find as many as we possibly can. 
Hey, you're welcome. Yeah, making your study breaks a little bit easier. Happy to hear that. Yeah, it's great. So yeah, we're probably gonna have to move off the sheep relatively soon and move down here. So what we're gonna do is just set up you like so and go work on that deer camp. He says I'm next to you. Ah, oh, you're fine. I don't know where I got this reputation from of being a tyrant, but you know, I, I feel like I feel like it's it's not it's not fully true, right? Right, guys. All right, let's get you guys on this, and you guys can jump on the trees for a second. A couple of you guys jump on gold. Let's get Friar Tuck in here. We're gonna need a house relatively soon, so um, yeah, Friar Tuck should be hitting everybody with the power of Jesus, and uh, yeah, now we just get rolling. Let's drop these sheep off. Hey. Yeah, welcome, guys. I <laughs> like we don't see council. I know it's great, man. So I was just watching you guys. Some of you guys may recognize the thumbnail, but I was just watching the Masters of the Universe. <laughs> the 1980s one with Dolph Lundgren is like the most haggard thing ever. It's great. All right, let's do this. And you guys come down here. Go work on that. And we'll have a house up in a second. So we shouldn't actually be supply blocks. Now we need to go find some relics. I always, well, you 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 always spawn next to me, number one. And you, you've been aggressive against me too. Let's not act like this is a you know a one way road, old ally. <laughs> you've you've gotten you've gotten a little bit crazy against me as well, man. Uh, the fact that we're not finding any relics is a huge bummer. All right, I'm a Walmart tyrant. Yeah, that's right. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna show him what's up. I was definitely more tyrannical in the early days of this game. Um, okay, we got blue here. When I used to like play one v one a lot, you know, when you when you only play like team team and more casual formats like FFA, it certainly uh, takes your edge off a little bit. All right, let's get the wheelbarrow. Keep looking this way. Granted, FFA is pretty good training. To be fair, it's pretty good. Yeah, you're watching. Can I be your vassal? No, no vassalage. I mean, yeah, if if you get fully conquered and somebody lets you live, that's fine. Um, damn, dude, where are the relics at? I'm gonna have to get a, a stable here in a second. Probably should get one just in case somebody wants to get like early pressure on me for some godforsaken reason. Early pressure is definitely like I'm talking feudal and dark age pressure is very very janky. And I'm barbecue of the sun is still so age one over here. Let's go see if we can find any relics over in the center here. Maybe I don't know. Not seeing any trade posts or anything like that either. All right, we'll keep four on lumber. I like that. It seems like a nice little sweet spot. And uh, wheelbarrow is gonna come up soon. Oftentimes there's relics in the middle. We'll get a horsemen out here to do a little bit of scouting and uh, we're, we're basically just going for a fast castle build. Hey Smotsan, how you doing? Uh, I don't want to slow down my eco too much. Uh, I'm going to get a second um, a horseman here. Horsemen are nice because they can just secure the relics and whatnot, right? Damn, yeah, we are really striking out. If I end up with only run, one relic, I'm going to be very sad. There could be one up on the top of the map too. So I'm going to go scout that area and see what we can find. Um, just to be safe, I kind of want to set up a tower here. Um, so let's do this and set up a tower like right here. I know it seems a little bit weird, but I think I think it's going to be worth it at the end of the day. All right, so people are reaching their feudal ages. Um, we're still hustling around. Let's build another house up here. All right. Still only one relic. I have the I have a feeling they're all like like bunched up somewhere, like on somebody's uh, t domain. Let's come down here. Um, what we're going to want to get is the second fire tuck. Oh shit, there's water. Okay. Well, blue's gonna be very far ahead of a lot of people because of that. Um, huh? Okay. Can we can we go here and check a little bit deeper set? Keep looking for the old relics. And uh, yeah, we got okay food down there as well. Okay, so I could go up there, um, set up a dock. Mm, is there deep sea fish? It looks like it's mostly shoreline, so I don't know like how worth it it is. But one relic so far. That's not good, ladies and gentlemen. Not good. All right, let's get another scout. Send it over here. We're gonna need to find some because our like our whole fast castle game plan is designed around getting relics, right? We're gonna send Fire Chuck down here, support those bad boys, and uh, we can get some berry bush action set up as well because eventually that's gonna run out. All right. Where are you at, relics? Goddamn! Where are these things? Scouts on the way. People are reaching feudal. Um. I see one relic at the moment. Okay. You, buddy, just keep looking around, seeing what you can find. I feel like there might be a couple like down the side of the map right here. All right. So we're going to set you up back there. Outstanding. And still just one relic. There's got to be more than this. This can't be all that this world has to offer. I'm not going to go super fast castle since I haven't even found relics. I'm, I'm like, maybe we just need to go into like 2TC and hope for the best. If I could find two, that'd be that'd be awesome. 
Yeah, this is weird. This is very strange. All right, so let's got a couple of you guys. Turn in, come up here. We're gonna need some wood now. Um, running through the lands. Dude, this is the weirdest shit. Are you guys seeing this? Where, where are they? <laughs> where are those relics at, man? All right, this is a little bit funny. Okay, we see a con. We see Teal down here. Um, nothing up here. I mean, I might just have to like grab sacred sites to make this worth my time. I could have been castled by now if I really like power raged, but okay. Is there something down here? Let's go like down this way and see if there's any like secret agent relic action. So we see the one, but literally nothing right now. Yeah, there's going to be some big changes. I mean, it's going to be a whole new game for sure. Okay, so we see water. Um, is there anything around here? Anything in the tree line here? Dude, this is, this is wild. I have no idea. They must be all in like the opposite corner of the map. Alright, let's go like hug down here and see if we can find anything. Yeah, so this cast, this fast castle is going to kind of suck a little bit to be honest. It's not going to be super great. And we're going to get like one relic for our efforts. Alright, see that? I mean, it doesn't mean we still can't karate chop someone. Right, if the, if the need arises. Alright, let's get some knights out. We have Castle Age. Maybe what we can do is we can go secure some relics or some land, like sacred sites to try and help. Um, but so far it's just going to be this uh, coming back to the old cathedral. Horseman scouting. Let's get you down around the side. And um, alright. Let's go around the side of the map. Could be something up top as well. And now what I, I think I need to do is get another expansion going. Yeah, because uh, right now the, the whole fast castle thing isn't going to work out super well. Yeah, it's not going to be great. We do have knights. I could get aggressive with them. I'm going to start building up a core of knights just to kind of make sure I don't lose ground. And, um, yep, set you up back here. Okay, guys, I'm not insane, right? There's 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 definitely, like, some funny business going on. I could get Swabia, but L's back is better in FFA, in my opinion, because of the uh, fact that you can do wonder defenses really effectively with it. Okay, so when we get our knights, they can go sit on the relics. Um, Friar Tuck, he's taking it back. Okay. Nobody else is anywhere near Castle Age. Like, we're massively ahead of people on that tech. Yeah, we got four knights. We could do a little bit of steamrolling, but I think I'm just going to go 2TC and then go into um, Castle here. And we'll send you to go grab this afterwards. All right. Or go into Imperial, excuse me. Is there, like, just one relic on this map? This is weird shit, man. I was like, hell yeah, dude, it's HRE in time. And then they're just like, no, one relic it is. All right, so Fire Truck's going to go grab that. We'll grab a handful of you guys and do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Try and get a very stalwart economy. Um, we are going to get access to this. Let's do that. And um, still no relics. People are starting to catch up to us now, so our advantage is gone. Yeah, that relic is going to go in L's back eventually. Yeah, that's, that's the game plan. All right. So you guys have done it. Let's get you and pull you back here. And is there anything we want to do back in that realm? I don't believe so. Still scouting around. I mean, maybe they're in the corner down here or something. I don't know, like right next to their base. Well, at least we're getting that sacred site. And we are going to have another TC up. People have water and I don't, so I'm going to be a little bit behind. It looks like there is indeed deep sea fish. I'm just going to get my big farm economy going here, though. So, should be fine. Alright, um, still no more relics. I have only seen one. So, I basically just have to hope that um, during my conquests, I'm going to be able to get, get some of those. Right. Take you guys down here. Go grab another sacred site. We see the guild hall coming up. Wow, this is this is wild. I've never I've never seen such a just a barren wasteland of no relics. Nobody got castled before us, so we know that sure is only the case. Okay, so let's go up here. Let's start building some military infrastructure. That one's gonna finish. We have the two TC. We have uh, orange up here as well. We're kind of relaxing. We're taking it very, very cautiously here. It's also nice to let my hand rest a little bit. And um, let's see if we can grab a second sacred site just to like try and make our fast castle worth something. You know, that's got to be the plan. Okay, can we do this? And you guys do this. Come help out. We have a little bit of food right now, not too much. Forestry should be finished soon. We got our six knights. 
Looking to just kind of secure the old empire. Friar Tuck is getting attacked. Let's take our knights over there to go protect that. Protect our little investment. And we get a Spring Alden placement there, no problem. And let's build the marketplace in the corner and maybe try and start trading. Okay, do I see any trade posts around? Holy shit, I, I don't know if there's any trade or relics on this map, guys. Perp might have gotten Castle. There's no way he got all the relics on the map, though. There's no way, even if he did get that, that speedy, speedy Castle. Okay, looking good. Let's leave this. And then a couple of you guys can do some Aachen farms. Nice, ugly farms. Good, good. We're, we're just going to get Imp, I think, from here. Um, I could start setting up some fishing, too, but I think we're pretty well into this. All right, looking good. So the farms for the farm gods, farm for the farm throne. Okay, let's get you guys back here. We have the nice sacred sites, so we have two of them. So you are getting a bit of passive gold now. It's not much, but it's something. We have our market in the corner. Ugly farms. You know, they'll be prettier once I delete the buildings nearby later, right? Um, so don't you worry. The, the time will come for the farms to look nice. All right, so let's get Friar Chuck in there. Okay, I've pretty much given up on relics at this point. It's not going to happen. So um, let's grab a couple more of you guys, get you on stone. We have the sacred sites, which is cool. And uh, yeah, all's, all's good. All's going according to plan, more or less. Um, let's get some upgrades and upgrades, and I believe we already have the food upgrades. Uh, I could Steve roll someone right now, but I think let's just go in. Yeah, let's just let's just save up and go Imperial. Oh, look at those ugly farms. You guys love this. Oh god, look at it. It's so hideous. <laughs> Sorry, Purple Lord Archer both known relic crushers. I don't know, man. Yeah, I mean he he was Wookie was way behind me in aging out. And usually there's some in the middle. There's like a little something something. Enemy destroyed Davox landmark. Oh, the, the dreaded Conqueror 3 player you guys were hyping up is. <laughs> Paying the troll toll over there, eh? All right. Well, let's see how this goes. So we're approaching Imp ourselves. I'm not going to grab the third sacred site, obviously. That would be foolish. Yeah, I know. It was kind of weird, wasn't it, Yoravity? It was a little bit strange. All right. Let's see some real Holy Roman mouth breathing. Just like, just the most mouth breathiest like army comps you can make. Just men at arm spam. Just all day, right? Holy shit. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> Oh, he dead! GG, looks like Ventus might have came after him, I don't know. Someone in chat was like, Behold, the dreaded Lord of Conquerors! And then just I look a second later and he's toast. He must have been caught really off guard or something, right? Alright, so Elshad Palace is coming. Um, we can just keep saving up wood. Revenge for the scout, I understand, he says. <laughs> That's pretty fun. Um, probably gonna go, like, try and hit China soon-ish. I don't know. We could. Alright. You guys head over there. We have the fire truck here. Let's jump him out. And he can come motivate these gold workers over here. Kinda gotta stay on top of that. And aging up is soon, so that's Swabia. We're gonna put the Els Chad in the corner here. Um, I'm gonna delete this market for now since there's literally no trade. And that's where Els Chad is gonna go. Yeah. Cool. So we almost have enough. We just need a little bit more food. Once we get turn-ins, we'll be all good. Probably red kill him, yeah. I don't know. It's been a very tame game. Usually there's more action because of the because uh, of the relic fighting, but since there was no relics to fight over, it kind of just kind of just didn't happen. All right, so we'll do L's Chad. Um, we're gonna put it like usually behind the Wonder is good, and it'll give it the damage resistance buff too, which is really good. So then we could just start spamming out troops and make some spears if we need to. Also, cool. So let's keep saucing our economy here. Um, we can delete this and this. So let's take these. And get some more sweet farms here. Farms for the farm god, farms for the farm throne. There we go. All right, let's go grab whatever stone we can on the map. Uh, let's probably take stone off in the middle first. The Holy Roman Hammer of Justice will come in due time. We got the Spring Alts protecting here, and um, we should be able to start getting some walls on our, our lovely empire. So let's uh, let's do that. Let's do the walls before the water to prevent landings. All right. So we're going to wall off the southern border here, for starters, and then, uh, you know, prepare for the inevitable wonder play, right? Okay. Imperial Age, which is fine. They might not have ecoed as hard as us. Maybe they did. Who knows? But we're going to be imp here in a second. We have a decent economy, not amazing. Sacred sites are giving us a little something, something, but overall, it's uh, it's a little bit disappointing. 
Ich werde das für dich erledigen. Right. Das soll mich überleben. Keep the workers pop it out. How's our eco looking? 75. The dread wolves are coming for us. The wolves are nibbling at the gates. Alright, let's get you. Do this. Cool. Let's get some crossbows, although I guess we could just get hand cannoneers at some point. Um, some people are taking the resources in the middle. Houses should be finishing in a second. And we need to get the unis up as soon as we can. Alright, did that finish? Great. Alright, let's get a uni up. And then we can do this. People dying. People get, people are going down. So we're going to just get army tactics and upgraded men at arms. I think that's going to be like our kind of play on the rush here. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Which altered Civ? I'm, I'm uh, probably the Order of the Dragon just because the name alone sounds just so awesome, right? So yeah. I would say that's going to be the case. Um, all right, so let's go down here. Get a wall here. Let's go say hello to our friend Teal. See what he's made of. We're going to start knocking on Heaven's door, dude. Giving, giving him the old Holy Roman welcome. You never know. Fire Lancers, Fire Lancers are a thing, right? All right, so Fire Truck's giving him the Jesus there. Let's grab you. No sense in any tithe barns. Purple super alone in the south. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Where are you? I'll turn where you at him on a roll. I love it. All right, let's see what the Chinese players got going for themselves here. Oh. <laughs> I feel like I'm in a horror movie or something, you know? Just like you show up and there's like a, you know, a destroyed base and you're just like, oh my god, what's going on here? All right. So let's get army tactics and we can take our troops and let's go down and say hello to purple, see what's going on there. Literally no fun resources around. Gold's going to run out on this map super, super turbo quick. We need to see if this gentleman has a market. Yeah, purple's being super aggressive. He asked where I was, so I could I could oblige and head over there. Let's do this and bring some of you guys down here to grab this. Alright, so we're gonna go like with this exploratory mission. It's not like an all-in or anything, but we're gonna go we're gonna go see what we can find here. Alright. Do this, do this. Don't know what purple's doing, but we got some villagers coming down to steal the stone. Did he have a market anywhere? Uh, it looks like he just quit. He actually didn't get killed outright, but he probably just got bullied and then and then left. Ventus has reached Imperial Age. What civ is he playing? He's playing, ooh, of acid. Yes, he's got like Ghulams and plenty of goodies, I would wager. All right, let's do this. Upgrades for the upgrade god. Let's go see what they're made of here. Um, our great wall is still building, I believe. Do we not have any workers on that? Doesn't look like it, okay. Let's get you. Start building that. We're going to need some keeps in our base, too. We could get counter push pretty hard here. May or may not be ready for it. All right, so the villagers should be hustling. Let's do this. All righty, perfect. Need to build a market just to uh, trade and whatnot. Looks like that's going well. Let's get some hand cannoneers heading down that way. Uh, we got sacred site money. Unfortunately, we don't have the Delhi tech that gives us just a ton of resources, but... Ah, you gotta love when that happens. All right. The enemy vills are, are blocking me here. All right, so let's go see what's up. I could wait for some siege equipment, I suppose. Probably not be a bad idea. Um, gold's gonna run out really, really quickly here, guys. Um, we probably need to head down here and try and grab that. And then we can have the, the remainders of the workers. You go down and grab this. Let's make you. He just got Imperial Age, so yeah, obviously he, he scouted our attack, he knows it's coming. It's just a it's just a matter of how well you deal with it. God, gold's already out. I'm gonna be such a potato soon. Alright, we're we're making the Rams, baby. Let's go. Single bombard will help us knock down some buildings. Green going pretty ham over in the middle. Who is Judy? Um let's go ahead and set up a keep here, just to be safe. Because that's like a really important area. It needs some defense. Um, all right, cool. Let's gather the troops. Get ready for a fight. Turn Lannister. Yeah, I know. We got we got the schemes. We got the betrayals. All of it. All right. So we got the bombardo. Let's head down this way. And then we can just start ramsteining here. Uh, let's get you guys to do that in the woods. Just lumberjack. It's fine. And you guys need to optimize your lumber situation. So let's do that. And now we can just send Duhas down here. Not like too hard. 
I don't know how strong purple is. Holy shit. Oh, purple's getting attacked. Oh, wow. Okay. Obviously, this gold node is very desirable, so we're going to just run into the trees and do some lumberjacking. Now's a good time to kill him. Looks like he's busy in conflict with somebody else, so we're truly going to be uh, doing some Lannister plays right here. All right. So let's get in here. You know, to be fair, he did summon me. He asked where I was. He's like, hey, turn. I'm on a roll. Where are you at? So, you know, you summon, you summon the beast and you get it. Ooh, that's what I like to see. Oh, yeah. All right, so let's get up here to this node, and we can set up some towers. Trying to get... No, 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 no. Bad, bad, bad. Uh, you literally summoned me. Yeah, he summoned me. You know? He he called me. He's, he asked where I was, so this is, this, is the, this is the retribution. All right, let's get you guys to guard this. Looks like High on Milk is going for the kill here. Decent quality army. My guy should be better, though. Oh no, he's got... Why does this guy have so much more HP than mine? I'm pretty sure I have army tactics. Well, I do have the heavy weapon, so that should be pretty good. Okay, so let's keep you guys coming down this way. Um, keep is in trouble. Yeah, my men at arms are winning. Um, gold is just pretty much non-existent here. Okay, so let's get that tower done and then hide those bad boys in it. Knocking keeps down, TC is going to go down, and Red is going to be trolling us here. So let's get in the towers, and then you guys need to... Dude, is gold that sparse on this map that like everybody's just like desperately scrapping for it? Kind of feels like it, man. Okay. I'm, sorry, I'm, a, ser uh, I'm a servant of Cornia a little bit right now. I know, it's true. Alright, so we got a market, but like no gold whatsoever. We have just the janky single Regnitz Cathedral play. All right, so we need to find his other landmark. Looks like he's got some artillery uh, camping in the back here. And we got 10 workers hiding out, but we should have a cannon emplacement finishing soon. Let's take these men-at-arms, go over here, see if we can battle these guys. Okay, so Red's down here going for the kill also. Let's see where he hit his landmark. He's a bastard, so he only has two. Should be in some danger. I don't know why Red's units are chasing me. A um, little bit of a hard-on for my boys, not going to lie. All right, let's jump in here, do this, do that, make stone towers. Sure, we could fight these guys, why the hell not? Let's keep clearing through the space. Um, did the market get destroyed? No, it did not. He says, yes, Red, chase him away. Looks like the Rams are, are going for the kill here, too. Okay, let's grab you guys. Not sure why he's torching the Chinese farms. That's a, is he Mongols? Oh, he's Mongols. Okay, it's all making sense now. It's all making sense. Turin, uh, help me kill Orange, he says. Okay. So obviously what we want is north to south trade, right? That's that's the plan. All right, let's get our troopers to bash him down. Take down houses. I don't know where the hell he's got all his stuff, but we're going to just supply block him here. I'm bringing you down there. Do this. And um, we can gather up. We need to make more infrastructure in the front of the base. All right, cool. And also, we need to upgrade our low-tier units because we're going to run out of gold at some point. So um, that's going to need to happen. All right, Ventus is dead. And so now what we need to do is pull some bills down here. Do a little bit of funny business. A little bit of sim -citying. Red's troopers are uh, waddling all over the place. We'll keep chasing them down. We do have faster infantry than him because of the because uh, of the uh, marching drills. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to lose down here. Um, so let's take a bunch of you guys go down this way. Villagers, go down. We need to make some defenses and try and secure that trading post. Otherwise, it's just going to be starving time, basically. Um, we have that secure. We got troopers coming down this way. Let's get the ramps to do their thing. He's shift-clicking like a maniac right now. Like a maniac, maniac. Yeah, last little gold node in the corner is going down here. Um, probably need some siege workshops, too. Let's get back here and make those. All right. So it looks like somebody else has died. Men at arms have caught him. Let's garrison you guys up. Provide some fire support. And we need to make sure the Mongols don't burn that down. They very well could. All right, set up some towers. Uh, let's get the men at arms. Hopefully that trade post is still there. And uh, you guys can run up this way and then come back. I don't even know. Red, Red's like in the opposite corner. Just just having getting his jollies off here. All right, let's repair that. Uh, did the market get destroyed? Yeah, he killed the market. Damn. That was, that was like, our big hope was that marketplace. Oh, now I don't think there's any, any good market situations anywhere. 
Unless he's got one in the corner. I'm going to take my troops to the middle of the map now. Let's get some elite spears. Get some elite horsemen while I still have the resources to do so. Uh, to do such. And um, yeah, you guys get on that. Let's get the upgrades fully going. Okay, so orange is attacking me. It's fine, to be expected. Some aggression at last. Uh, it's old Wookie. So we're going to pull back. We don't want to get too crazy. We're just going to have to let the Mongols have their scraps down here. Yeah, so let's pull north. Um, we're going to have to deal with this big old army here. Um, do we have any siege equipment that can come out yet? Not quite. Culverins would be very, very welcome. What are we missing? Wood? Come on. Give me the wood, Precious. Give it to me. Give it to me. He probably has some siege equipment. Nope. Just a complete land-based army. All right. So Mangos is... It's going to be Mangos. All right. Men-at-arms, gather up on the old border here. Mainly archers that are not fully upgraded. All right. So we should be able to kill them. He's taking one of my sacred sites, which is going to be... Uh, some Mad Max level shit soon. Alright, not sure where these guys are going, but he's going to lose all these archers. Um, although they do have the dreaded poison arrow. I believe we have a cannon placement here, so we should be okay. Those men at arms coming over. Alright, he's doing some nice micro there. Very cool, very fancy. Uh, let's come back this way and secure some lumber. The dreaded HRE single relic plays is known across the realm. Alright, let's get you guys back over here. Do this. And set up some towers. Okay, here he comes. So let's get the boys. Gather up here. Gather up in the base. We need to get a critical mass. If we just trickle in, he's obviously going to be able to kill us. So we don't want that to happen. Alright, so let's get the mangonel onto the archers. And uh, yeah, our wood sucks. And so does this. This also, this also is not fun. Oh shit, Red's here with a bunch of ramps. Oh my god. Okay, weird. I could be in a little bit of danger if they're both dual pushing me like this. Okay, so our troopers here can hopefully shut this down. We need to go into survival mode here, because uh, if we're going to get attacked by both folks, we could actually run into some problems. Uh, we do have a keep nearby. It's a little bit deep set. But let's get back into the base and deal with the rams. <laughs> rams are just like the trolliest shit ever, dude. You gotta love him. You gotta love him. All right. How are we doing eco-wise? We're doing okay. Let's get you guys up here. Clean these guys out. Pull back. We just need to deal with the rams so we don't lose too much infrastructure. Yeah, we'll do this and let's get the uh, Friar Chuck to come out and motivate. Yeah, literally zero gold income now since we lost both sacreds. Well, at least we can still macro everything else, more or less. We still got all the other goodies. We're going to sell some food, um, and then from here, we're going to go ahead and get the biology upgrade, probably. It's going to be the most relevant for horsemen. All right, Friar Chuck, you head up here, grab this. Oh, boy. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know how we endure this without trade. I don't think this is a weird-ass map. There's no trade. There's nothing. Everybody's going to run out of money. So the civs like English, for example, are going to be the ones who laugh all the way to the bank. Yeah. 100%. So we're just like all in on the wood. It's gonna, this is gonna be like a Ramstein type game. Alright, let's grab some of you guys. Come up here. Let's uh, finish the Great Wall here. What the hell is this? Like a random ram in the back of my base? Alright, the horsemen should deal with that, no problem. Red's coming over. Oh, hell no, dude. Hell no. Hell no. <laughs> Not today, dude. Not today. All right. So those men at arms should arrive in time. Shut that shit down. We'll take our army down there and do that. Oh my god! The trolls! They're all over the place. There's rats in the walls. Okay, we don't need that many guys. Let's just like send a couple. Okay, the old Wookie is not gonna have it. The old Wookie is is betraying me for the last time. Okay, so we got our L's chat in the corner. Um, yeah, hopefully our troopers can win this fight. Looks like they will. That gold is going to be so valuable in a minute. Okay. How are we doing on wood? Pretty good. Let's get a bunch of stables. We're going to need it. I don't know if we win this fight, honestly. Although, eh, he's mostly archers here. All right, so let's get some reinforcements coming over. You guys can chill out right there. Take you guys, go down here, and go try and secure this gold node. If we can. All right, so it looks like we pushed him back again, maybe. 
We have enough for a fryer tuck. 2v1, yeah. We're we're hanging out. Green green might be in really good shape. Who knows? But it's all good. We'll see. We'll see how the cookie crumbles at some point or other. You come finish these walls. And uh, we need to get another fryer tuck to grab the sacred site. It's literally like the only money here. Oh, the step readout's there. Nice. Okay. So let's go down. We need to secure that gold if we can. He's trying to move his step read out that way. Two, three, and four. We could get a big Mongol incursion force. This is going to be um, a game of rams, this one. So we just need to get as much wood as we possibly can since there's no um, there's no trading on this map outside of player... Um, yeah, okay. So we got it surrounded. Let's make sure it's surrounded. Yeah, there we go. Okay. I think it's surrounded now. Just pursuing red is what he says. Yeah, that, that 5,000 gold is pretty good. Um, next up, we scout for trade. We just make some horsemen and we just ride around the map and see what we can possibly find. We're going to sell a little bit of this. We want to get fully upgraded, so let's get the arrow upgrade for the boys. And Wookiee is it's weird. He's just kind of like randomly sending stuff at me. Like these waves of archers. I could, I could probably go bonk him on the head. We might have to here. Um, all right, so yeah, how can we secure this? Set up north. He just like appears and leaves after trolling me. <laughs> all right, let's go see what he's up to. Holy shit. Oh my god, this guy. All right, let's get some horsemen down here. Okay, towers are going up. Let's garrison the boys. He's trying to hammer the walls down. He's going to lose some bills here, but not too many. The horsemen should be able to help clear these out. Okay, what does his army look like? Yeah, archers and spears. Okay. Archers and the spears. Okay, let's push again. Um, we're banking wood for ram pushes. The inevitable push of the gods. Oh, he has a culverin out here? That's wild. Just a random ass culverin against my men at arms. Okay. Thankfully, we've been able to produce some uh, dudes here. We need to get like one of these upgraded to like a stone tower. Okay, so let's get you guys to go clean those rams up, and the rest of you guys can push here. Oh shit, did he actually build infrastructure out front of my base? Okay, we might have to Mortal Kombat this guy. If he wants, if he wants it, we well, gotta give him some. Give him some of the smoke. He's killing the walls of doom. Okay. Let's get you guys to do this. And how's our eco looking? It's actually relatively balanced. Okay, so we're gonna lose some walls here, but yeah, now we're gonna get some ram pushing of our own. They wanted the ram cheese, they will get it. All right, um, yeah, stone. Do I have enough? Yeah, you know, let's make a spring tower here, it's fine. And it is, it is time for the new hosting. Yeah, I'll have a dune stream soon, I don't know when, but sometime I was thinking in the next few days for sure, maybe Sunday. It'd be cool. We managed to maintain the sacred site, which is excellent. Let's set that up. You never know, like a huge Mongol army could just like charge into my base and troll, right? No trade. I I mean, his armies don't look like super good quality, so I suspect there's no trade going on. Okay, so that's outstanding there. It's going to be big. Um, do we have rams coming? Rams for the ram gods. We probably cut some eco here. Can get you guys and just get the delete. We need to make sure to cut the military and leave the ram production going, right? That's going to be the play. And then horsemen. Yeah, okay. Should be good enough. Alright, so all's calm and all is peaceful in the corner. Um, we've secured our, our gold node. A little bit of hardship, but um, we, we're going to have two spring towers there now, so it should be hard for the Mongols to get that back. And yeah, rams should definitely cost more supply. It's pretty OP how cheap they are. Alright, so Ventus has destroyed a landmark. Um, looks like he killed one of Red's land. Wait, isn't Ventus dead? Enemy destroyed Ventus's landmark. Oh, it, it's just, um... What it probably is is a Mongol player who's just trying to farm. Alright, let's go see if there's a dock down here, maybe? That we could play with? Yeah, that'd be cool. And then we need to get the banded beams. We need to probably... How do we wait for those? I think we could just push. Alright. 
Bewege die Beine. Was hast du? Ich gehe nach Befehl. Dort Männer bereit. Und Horchen. Cool. Let's move. Let's move it and groove it. Does he have mangoes or those are just gulps? Okay. He's got a big entrenched army here, boys. I like how people send rams into melee, myself included. It's just like, ah, release the rams. Culps are sniping, but I think we're winning in the front line. It's a little bit hard to tell. I wonder if he's got any sort of, um, any sort of, uh, like, good resources, Banks. I can afford to, like, have this kind of fighting for a minute. The men-at-arms are giving him some problems in the front, for sure. Rams have gotten into the keep. And, um, yeah, we can take a couple of you guys across map. Let's go here. A little bit of espionage there. And let's go see if there's any docks down on the bottom side here. All right. Red definitely prepping a corner wonder. Is he? Kind of doesn't look like it. He looks like he's kind of dead, but, you know, could be playing possum here. Okay, outstanding. Time for the ram spam, baby. Let's go. All right. So the fight more or less went okay. He still does have that keep knocking on Heaven's Door here, but hopefully the Rams will arrive soon, the, the dreaded Ram reinforcements. Um, let's set, start setting up some towers around here just to see if anybody's, like, trading or doing anything funny. All right. The Rams, the, the melee Rams will not help, but ours uh, hopefully will be able to get onto the keep there. Okay, here they come with some Rams. So we can hopefully just head those off with a couple of reinforcements here. Uh, we see Springholds in the back. Okay, let's go dive those. Um, they're probably just going to try and take down the rams, which means he's got a little bit of resources, actually. One down. Let's get this keep down, and then we can just hopefully keep pushing him away. I don't know why he's, he's coming at me pretty hard. I'm a little bit surprised. But yeah, the rams, once they get this keep down, should be, should be pretty money. Looks like a couple of them trying to move into the base here. We got men at arms looking to deal with those. We'll get some more of our own rams moving. Let's get the archers to start popping these villagers who are repairing here. All right, great. So that should be the end of the keep. And with that, we should be able to get momentum against him. Yeah, down you go, buddy. Down you go. All right. So some weirdness over here. Um, our villager is building the Towers of the Gods. Someone is going to be incredibly hard to replace at this point. All right, now we can attack up. And um, we do see a little funny business. All right. Is Green dead? No, Green's still alive. Interesting. So Green's literally right next to him, and he's not attacking him. Hmm. Yeah, we're going to need more wood for our, our janky plans that we do have. At least we're killing infrastructure, though. We're making progress. We might have to start banking up wood again. Okay, Fire Chuck, you go motivate these woodworkers. Rams are doing a good job. Outstanding. Men at arms still fighting hard. Because I do have the, the golden cum, but probably not for long. Get back on the wood. Back on the wood you go. All right. So the that, that plan is, is hashing. It's potentially coming to fruition. Our army, unfortunately, though, is kind of trickling in. So we probably pull back and gather up. Get like a, a nice little Death Star. All right. We can get some colds. He's got mangoes and springs, mainly. All right, so you guys keep pushing. You guys go up this way. Horsemen charging into spears. It's not good. And what the hell are these villagers doing? Oh, my God, where are these guys going? They just, like, off on some adventure here. All right, so we'll gather up. We got rid of the keep, which was nice. Um, someone's poking us here. I'm not sure who it is. All right, so we're going to gather up for a little a little fun right here. You guys come down here, jump onto a bit of a safer wood option. We managed to hold the sacred site, which is outstanding. Yeah, this is a this is a, a completely mega random map, so it's just devoid of resources more or less. Oh, somebody trolled trolled me there. Yeah, I think his tower might have shot me. All right, so we'll just gather you guys up. Okay, let's do this. Send the horsemen over the top. We got to get the surround in the army since it's a pretty potato army, actually. And now we just attack and all the artillery dies and that's where he loses his momentum. Yeah, now we just fold this army up. We could even get some art, uh, some traditional arty of our own, like mangoes and stuff, to help us win the fights. Complete surround on the archers, too. 
Okay, red is back in business, um, yeah. which is, you know, the Mongols could raid us super hard if they wanted to. No gold left here. Uh, is there any gold left on the map anywhere? Doesn't look like it. All right, we need to just, like, clear this out. And then, um, is he making horsemen? He's making archers, yeah, mainly. Okay. Could make some knight upgrades to Imperial. Let's pull back to the base, gather you guys up. All right, so that's going okay. Orange is retreating. He killed that army. He still has a decent little force, though. I suspect he's trading because he's still making gold intensive units. So we, uh, for us right now, at least what I'm thinking is, is we need to just survive. Uh, we survive the onslaught of his, you know, probably better economy and uh, see what happens on the map. And see what happens on the old map. We do have a great wood eco, though. It's pretty savage. And then you, Friar Chuck, need to come down here and motivate these guys with the power of Jesus. Yeah, there were eight people on this map. I mean, a couple have died. There's, there's not too many left. Somebody, I suspect somebody's going to have, like, a huge wonder at some point here. We're being shot by, I think, a tower. Um, our eco is 131, which is way, way too big. No! Bad Mongols! I knew this time would come. It was only a matter of time before the Corsair Lords of old found us. Okay, we're going to lose a fair amount of villagers here. Nothing we can't replace. And we need to... This is a reminder. This is the gods punishing me for not finishing our wall off. Just hopefully old Wookiee doesn't attack us here. Nope, no, you stay in the trees. Alright, chase him out. Do this. And you guys can just finish that wall off there. Okay, we only lost like maybe 10, 15 bills. Not too bad. It could have been way, way worse. What are we at? Yeah, we're still at 90 eco. That's great. Set up back here. Finish off the wall off. We can't have the Mongols just riding into our base like that. Oh, okay. That definitely screwed up our whole like strategy there. All right, let's push up this way. And, uh-huh, horsemen. And we can also make rams. Yes, yes, yes. We had some rams like I was going to backdoor his base with, but, um, yeah, sadly... I got distracted by this uh, Mongol invasion and it screwed up my control. All right, walls for the wall gods. Now we just move in and push. Enemy destroyed his landmark here. All right. Uh, nobody has a wonder. No, it's just good. All right, men at arms are being chads as usual. We do have the culves. Let's move those culves up. Let's see if we can get some nice sniping going. So now the Rams can attack in. Dude, he was going all out on me here, wasn't he? Jesus. This man wanted blood. Okay, so now we snipe this down. I don't know where this hatred came from, to be honest. Regardless, the Rams are going to start killing shit. Yeah, our armies are, like, out-trading his, to an extent. Ah, uh, it's kind of close. Kind of close. All right, so let's ride up here, target these little uh, spring alt stations, and have you guys just keep going after infrastructure here. And we'll send some uh, some dudes over there. We probably want to get the um, siege engineering too, get our final arrow upgrade. Problem is, I'm just not sure when the Mongols are going to strike. You know, they could they could come at any point. Just a little historical uh, historical accurately terror, right? All right. So we also would like to get a keep near our base. Right here. Found some bills. Let's go park down here, see if we can do a little bit of disruption. And the entire north is very, very awkward. Alright, we're gonna see if we can do a little run by here while we fight. Yes! Critical mass of rams. Age of ram is, is upon us. Alright, you guys head up. Secure that sacred site, please. You dot these. Let's make some spearmen. And just hope we have enough wood to continue this uh, this mortal combat here. That's basically it. All right, we got the sacred site under control. Got it, some men at arms running across. Meanwhile, we just keep plowing through his infrastructure here, and that will massively diminish the amount of pressure he's able to put on. Although we did build another keep here, which is kind of uh, kind of unfortunate. All right, so the wall is being built. Um, let's go ahead and preemptively build this. And I would like to get a keep up on the north side. Granted, we don't have enough. How are we looking in the middle? Yeah, it's something. Go Rams, clear out all this nonsense. I don't know. Is he just letting, he, is there, he's just letting a French player chill next to him. That, that ain't good. 
All right, so these men at arms are gonna get rode down, so might as well have them turn and fight, do some damage. All right, it's cool. So he's hemorrhaging units and losing infrastructure. Uh, men at arms are eventually defeated, no surprises. And um, yeah, rams are coming into our base here too, so we need to return the favor. Three. All righty, cool. Keep it going, boys. Get some horsemen popping out there. We probably want to get some more horsemen tech if we can. Yeah, we're going to lose like a couple siege workshops. No problem. I think his lumberjacking operation was over here, so we'll send some random guys there to do their thing. Okay, so a little, little cute split pushing. I dig it. Hopefully we can stop it. We will see. Yep, still killing a lot of those units. We have plenty popping out here, so it shouldn't be a problem. We're going to probably want to build some more deep set infrastructure. <laughs> what is, what is like, is, is like spice in this game right now? It's like, it's like the most precious resource. Okay. Do a little bit of this. All right, so at least we've gotten them like away from our base to an extent. They don't have as much infrastructure here as they once did. Yeah, we really need to make sure we get we keep like good wood economy though. All right, Rams did okay. Unfortunately, the keep's still alive, which is the worst part. Um, oh yeah, Red trolling us again. He's having a he's having a good jolly time with that. I think we can hold like all day though. It's just it's gonna be ugly. Um, yeah, so we got that. We're gonna need some archer ranges. He must be trading. Or the French player is just waiting for somebody to die to go wonder, would be my guess. Yeah, nice little ram push from him. He's good. Alright, let's head top. Thankfully he didn't decap the sacred site, which is like our most, our most valued asset here. He has got like two random archers back here. It's pretty funny. Let's see if the old TCs can take him down. All right, I think he killed like maybe seven or eight villagers. What are we at? Ah, we're fine. Our military is pretty huge though, so we might want to cut down on that. Reestablish our eco. Go, my horsemen. Go, my pretties. So we're hanging out here. We just need to survive. The, the, there is a French player who's going to wonder if, uh, if if this stupid fight keeps happening. The wood wars have begun. All right, so let's get back on the food eco. Let's get back on the food eco. Make sure our farms are fully equipped. You come back up here, and we need to get a fire chuck to motivate you guys for the faster wood. Tithe barns basically feels like dead weight to me. Um, we can slap a keep down right here too. So then we'll have a keep, I believe, on both fronts. I think there's going to be a wonder from the French at some point. Orange must be attacking. I don't know, maybe they have like a symbiotic relationship, like a market or something. That that definitely seems like it could be plausible. All right, let's get our farms fully equipped again. I'm happy to chill out for now. Um, Rams are coming for round 10. Okay, let's go get some horsemen to steamroll them. This could be a long game. It really could. Okay, that's a, just a lot of free resources right there. So I'm happy to, happy to steamroll that. Is there any way we could get trade going? Is there anything going down here? Okay, hold up. I have an idea, actually. I don't know if the Mongols will permit this, but we can go trade with the Mongol docks on the bottom side of the map. Basically all archers. Okay. He's moving those back in, but we're uh, certainly prepared. All right, boys, you keep it up. The most important thing here is to find a way to, um, to find a way to, uh, what's it called? to get gold again, because otherwise it's just infinite potato wars. You know, we're just going to make like shithouse units just non-stop and nobody's going to make any progress and that's going to be that. Alright, so those guys get to get chased back and once again we're more or less ready to fight. And keep the dreaded wet noodle contest going all day with our potato tier units. Let's move in. Keeps her at the ready. He's trying to ride by, but we should be able to head those guys off, no problem. Alright. Okay, is there anything we can do down there? Yeah, that's. I think that's honestly one of our best plays right now. Let's go scout the corner and see if there's anything I missed. And then we can set up a dock there. Archers are on the walls, that's pretty funny. The cool part is I can just run up on the walls since they're mine, so. 
<laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's not the best hiding spot. All right, let's save up wood. We need to save up a good wood economy again. Um, it's not that great. Despite the power of the Jesus, it's not the best. All right, a lot of guys trying to get up from walls. And let's go look here. See what we maybe missed. I'll take those archers. It's going to take a minute, I guess, to drag them down, but those uh, they will eventually fall. They do have the poison arrow tips, which is pretty sweet. Uh, all right, let's go get the dock set up. Finish off the last of these archers and um, probably save up for a couple of culves and just play defensively. Because trying to just... Okay, we see traders. Interesting. That's, that's kind of a telltale sign that there could be a little something-something going, right? Come on, boys. What can we find in the rat's nest empire here? That wall is a little bit too hard to protect. Okay. There's the landmark. There's a couple archers left on the wall still fighting. Yeah, this is going to be just a potato grind for sure. It, nobody has money. It's, it's just resource starvation. Our food is actually not great either. We need to get we need to just like resupply before we go on an offensive. Like we if we you don't want to like aggress too hard. Can they actually build I don't think they can travel up river there, so let's go oh no, it's a completely different body of water. Okay. We're gonna set you up. You guys come and uh, get this ready to go. He's taking the sacred site, which we have to go get back. Um, in the meantime, you guys can do this. Then set that up. Okay, a couple, couple little horsemen raiding. It's, it's fun. Those are just sofa. How many of eco are we at anyways? We're a little bit too heavy on the eco anyways at the moment. All right. Very cute. Let's go up here. Get this back. I don't know if we can actually like win a... Right, what does our army look like? Mostly spears here. Horsemen should be able to handle the sofa. And um, we have another fire chuck nearby. He can come back and recap this. Alright, cool. And yeah, I mean, you just keep keep rolling, 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 dude. Doing your thing. Exercise those APMs. Alright, let's go... Uh, there are Mongol towers there. So I suspect they won't be too warmly received. I'm gonna kill like five villagers. That, see, this trade isn't worth it for him because he's trading like a lot of gold for like a little bit of a, a little bit of food. Red is killing me. Is this like safer? Oh man. Okay. So just play defensively, play smart, maintain our gold. Let him ex tire out his old hands. Um, are we gonna get it? Ooh, that's 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 not bad. It's not the worst thing I've ever seen. Not the worst thing I've ever seen. Probably throw out another keep here just to prevent the inevitable raiding. Uh huh. Let's delete this and um, let's get our trade ships and uh, do that with this. Yes, the plays of the gods. All right, guys, we're still good. Hey, you guys laugh at my trading now, but you just wait till I'm I'm just a rich tyrant who can bully everybody. Okay, let's see this. Yes, save the resources, precious. Do it. Maybe another keep there wouldn't be a bad idea. Looks like they're coming to knock on heaven's door again, so here we go. Here comes the fun times. I see, I just see a bunch of uh, Malians sitting at the, the gateway there. Come on, man. Come on, give me that trade. He definitely has gold. He's making Sofa and other units. So it's probably just his pit mines. I would suspect. I think it's a little pit mining action. Okay, the rams are coming back. We don't need rams of our own. We can go snipe these rams real quick. <laughs> hey, 24 resources of pop is better than nothing, boys. It's better than nothing. You know? 
Yes. Give me the trade of the gods. Uh, the bug has turned. This is going to sound crazy, but you couldn't just send land traders to that dock for cross map? I could. But the Mongols are going to see it. This is, like, sneakier. Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe we could, like, slap this down here. We'll see what we can get done. Is he really going to attack into my keep? Looks like it. All right. Let's fight him in the choke point. Where his numbers count for slightly less. He's got some archers on the walls, which is very cute. Um, we'll just pull back and then we'll be able to hit anything. Um, any weird split pushing going down? I don't think so. Ah, oh, just rams. Okay. Couple old cute rams looking to have some fun. Only rams. Alright. So we got you guys. That's good. And then the archers are chasing us off the walls. And he's definitely not going to get this keep. He's just going to lose like 1,500 wood. This could become one of those situations where um, everybody runs out of wood. It, it's just like a grind. Yeah, the sea traders are very stealthy. Yeah, nobody's looking at water. That's the thing. Like, this is like... This is very safe money, you know? I'm still going to try some land trade, I think. But, um... Overall, yeah, it's a little dicey. All right, let's go bash these guys. Yeah, Wookie's trading. He's got money. He's, like, building stone walls. He's building good units. So we're, we're definitely... Um, let's delete these. Try and be a little sneakier here. Enemy neutralizing sacred site again. We'll go get that back in a moment. Matter of fact, let's just send these horsemen up. Okay. As far as Chuck, he's like, he's like, dude, I am so sick of this shit. Sneaky, sneaky. You attack me first. It's going to be curious to see how this game evolves. No, this isn't going to be the longest. This game won't go too long, I don't think. It's going to go long, but... Yeah, I don't know. So we're going to try this, and now we need to get you guys on wood. Let's just clear out those those wood nodes there. Prior Tuck comes back this way. And now we just accumulate wealth. And by wealth, I mean like like whatever pitiful amount of gold we're getting per minute right now. Alright, so let's set up some random towers. See what we can see on the map. Trying to be extra annoying about pushing us. So if he wants to like split push me with rams, we'll just have to go through like 10 layers of wood walls. If he wants to fight us, it'll have to be in the choke point is the idea. Definitely should get a culve. Um, this upgrade's probably worth it just for ram speed. Take you down here. He's trying to build some towers around to just spy on us here. Saving up the resources. Playing it smart. No. Whose horsemen are these? Judy? He's like hunting me down to the corner of the map. Let's hopefully he doesn't discover our, our business here. Alright, so he's going to sacrifice these villagers to the gods, I see. Okay. Get a little arrow emplacement there. Be cute. And uh, we can take some uh, spearmen out there too. So let's get the spearmen to head out and defend. It's going to be too hard to get cross map trade, I think. It's going to be extremely difficult. Let's go see what's going on here. We'll just send out an exploratory army. One, two, three, and four. Those guys will come back. Couple spearmen. Red, pretty sure turn has a uh, def knot. I have one relic. They, they, uh, uh, maybe they're trying to build me up to be the villain now, which certainly wouldn't be the worst play in the world. Okay, he's got a couple of horsemen coming here, but we got spears waiting for him. These guys hanging out in the gates, and um, yeah, overall, not bad. I'll take it. Orange has all. Makes sense. He's saying orange has. Makes sense. Yeah, I was wondering how he's able to perpetually afford these good quality armies, but... Alright, let's take you down. Cool. I mean, I guess he gets a couple woodworkers here. We'll see. Um, are we fully walled here? It looks like it, more or less. Oh, we have the spring towers, which is fun. Maybe he attacks in with the main army here, I'm not sure. 
Um, we need more siege workshops, 100%. If we really want the ram wars to commence, we need more of those. Yes, my dreaded trade here. Give me money. Alright, cool. All is secure in the realm. Fire talks motivating the people. We still have access to that sacred site, which is great. Yeah, so if Orange did get... Um, I am not. He thinks... Does he, does he think I'm trading? I don't know if he does. Alright, so let's pop more of these guys out. What is our eco at right now? The janky rating of the gods. Red, you don't have to do this? He's, he's pleading now. This is my this is my truly forbidden play down here though. This is this is what the play of the gods. Oops, whatever. Let's do that and that. I'm just resting my hands, by the way, guys. I kinda strained him a little while back, so they want to trade. Yeah, let's see what this empire here looks like. Yeah, it's mainly just haggard tier units that neither of us are gonna be able to make progress against one another with. We'll fight him in the gates. If he wants to if he wants to recreate Kingdom of Heaven again. Could be coming down here, I'm not sure. Alright, Spearman. Let's go down here and party. Take the rest of the army out front, see if we can head those guys off. He must genuinely think I'm trading. Hey, that's one way to free up supply. Have people do it for you. Okay, let's get you guys to fight here. While the sofas are out of position. Let's see what kind of progress we can make, if any. Let's let's test the waters again. It's been a while since we've invaded or gone to fight, so. Alright, Spearman, you guys go down here. Attack those guys, and uh, yeah, we just have our little archer duel. Very cute stuff. Not too much damage could have go down on either side, but the spearmen basically clean those guys out. Sacred sites being taken. A couple rams. Let's just clean them out. All right. Is there anything else we need to worry about? Maybe eventually he'll decide I'm not actually trading. All that gold we built up for like the past 15 minutes is gone now. All right, so Rams, let's get you going to the keep here. Knock those bad boys down. Still has a fair amount. Pull you guys back. This. We can definitely do this for a while. All right. So we're going to try and get a little little funny funny going now. Oh, never mind. He still has a vision there, so we need to take this tower down. All right, Rams. Let's go. Yes, my Rams. Go forth and prosper. My dreaded naval trade will win us the day. You just wait. All right. So the Rams are going to try and go there. It's a cannon tower or something. I don't know. It's hard to tell. And uh, I don't think the naval trade is going to be possible. Yellow need help with the orange. Uh... We're just stalemate. I have no gold. Yeah, we. Well, I'm gonna. I'm gonna tell homie the truth. Okay, a little bit of a cute raid there. Garrison, you up in the towers? We're gonna knock down that keep once and for all. Let's have you go down here, see what we can find. Yeah, here we are. We certainly can mash our sausages together all day with no money. Oh boy. All right, let's make some more villagers, pull back, just gather our forces, and look at that. So no one's surprised no progress has been made. He probably has pit mines all over the map, right? Yeah, and those are, those are going to give him really nice money and come over us with one relic. How are we looking here? We did clean those guys out. Outstanding, so that is done. 
Let's make a lot of towers around here. Now he wants to come and knock on Heaven's door here. Probably need more archery ranges. Jeez, I have like no archery ranges. The traders are just waiting in the shadows. I don't want to send them across until the uh, opportunity is, is good for them. All right, so we got a couple guys handling that. And to no one's surprise, uh, whoever extends into the other person's land gets pushed back. Yeah, Abbasid armies can be very strong for sure. He's playing Malians though. Malians have good late game armies to an extent. I would say HR, well, it depends on the resources, but Malians have access to the poison arrows, which makes their basic archer scale incredibly effectively. So, um, so yeah, it, it's pretty sweet. You guys, all the relics, dude. I know. I, I that's that's what I've been asking myself all day. I was like, where are them relics at? All right, let's get some mangoes in here. We can just pull back to the keep a little bit. Get you guys ready to fight for the Jesus. All right, there we are. Oh, this is actually a cannon tower. Shit, I didn't realize that. The mangoes of the gods will arrive soon. The dreaded Mongol trading keeping us in the game. Oh, these guys actually made it. Oh shit, I forgot I sent them. Okay. Well, that would if I start getting gold, I could start steamrolling pretty hard. I could just spam pyramid arms and good quality units. Okay. How are we looking down here? Looks like, uh, once again, just hemorrhaging units into the gates, but my resources are running very, very low, guys. I definitely don't want this for too much longer. Okay, so we need to defend the artillery if possible. You guys go here, uh, get here and here. Get you guys to blast away. And maybe, maybe setting up a little something here. Yeah, looks like the keep is able to cover it. That's good. Come on, baby, I need some gold. Uh-oh, the Mongols. No! They're gonna cut off my gravy train! How dare they, dude. How dare they. All right, so let's get you guys to keep going, make men-at-arms. Yes, the spears. Okay, back and back you go. Let's get these villagers to come in and repair. Fortunately, he was able to dive, so fighting in the gatehouse where his archers can just cackle, probably not the best idea. Um, we could do a little bit of stone, yeah. Get you going, and then get all these men-at-arms heading down here. Both of us are kind of running out of steam a little bit, as you can see. Spears, defend. Go forth, minions, and you guys go repair and repair. Okay, cool. Could make more TCs. Um, ah, shit. All right, guys. Now, now we're in actual danger because our trading operation is shut down by the Mongols. So we're playing no gold against somebody who's very rich. So we just survive, basically. Yeah, we just do our best to scrap and survive. And uh, let's get some towers here. He can micro that guy all, all he wants. I'll pull you back this way. Uh, I think our traders did get shut down. Oh, they're still going. Okay. There's still a portion of them that are going strong like champs. The static defense is definitely helping. Definitely helping. We're going to leave some guys here in the farms just to chill out. Okay. Yeah. It's getting tight. Okay. He's got springs now. That's not good. But no real, like, true siege. That's for sure. Um, do we want to make anything here? Could try, try and chase into those, but don't think it's worth. Um, do we want to do a little sneaky sneaky? Yeah, some covert ops across the map. Yeah, why not? I really do wonder what like the dynamic of the rest of the game is like. Okay, he's got um, what appears to be a cannon emplacement in the middle now, so I don't think we're going to be cackling too much longer. Let's get you guys up in the walls and keep these springs back. Uh huh. Cool. So yeah, now we're up here. We can just troll about like we were doing before. Okay. And then let's snipe you, you, and you. Spearman moving into the archer certainly doesn't feel good. Horsemen, men at arms. Oh man, why are his spring ults so much tankier than mine? He's got some upgrades. Upgrades for the upgrade god. Uh, do we have any cannon emplacements we can slap here? Not yet. We need 281. Alright. Gather up, boys. 
Yeah, we, we probably can't sustain this too much longer without gold. Yeah, it's going to be tough. Okay, Sofa is doing a little bit of flanking, but there's a reason why we left some random soldiers in the farms here. Might need to make more farms. But we can't, like, keep full armies anymore. It's getting really, it's getting really tough. Alright, it's fighting the choke point, and uh, we need the mangoes to pull back. Because they're about to get sniped by springs. Uh-huh. Make a cannon placement there. Looking good. You know, it might be a good idea to move our one relic up to this forward keep, actually, since it's, like, where most of the fighting is going down. Um, you guys just go jump on food down here. We're gonna need everything we can get. Archers and horsemen. All right. Once again, the stalemate continues. I would say it's not a stalemate anymore. He's making progress now. I'm, I'm definitely on the back foot here. He must be, has some source of income I'm not sure aware of. Dude, these brave traders are just desperately trying to bring gold, gold across the line, the smugglers. Um, burning oil could be a prudent upgrade to get. Could be. Um, as far as wood goes, we got all of you guys. We need to optimize our wood operation a little bit. So let's go find like some big wood notes down here. Okay, rams are coming in. Thankfully, we're, we, we do have a sizable army of sorts. I don't think he's going to get the keep. Not with emergency repairs. One, two, three, and four. Keep you shooting into the archers there. Keep you back. Yeah, once again, we have emergency repairs, so should be all right. Okay, one, two, three, four. Repair here. Um, probably some springs in the back shadows would be good. We'll start in the emergency repairs. Get that cooldown going. He's got one ram now, so. Not going to stop us. Pretty deep set with that mangonel. Um, we have a cannon emplacement here. Let's get one up here to protect against the dives. I'm, I'm actually tempted to move up with that. All right. What's going on with uh, the other players? Who's still alive? So it's me, Wookie, and and uh, the Mongols. Ooh. Oh, shit. Okay, so the Mongols are still alive here. This is going to be very interesting. Yeah, Red is probably cackling for sure. I'm, I'm, I'm completely starved. I've got no relics, no money. I'm the potato king right now. Um, let's get that relic and put it in the forward keep. It's going to make it much harder to kill. Okay, he's massing springs, which is good. It means he's not going to be able to kill our keep. Okay, we can make scouts if we have to. I'm very, very destitute right now. I, th I do think Red probably wins this game. Because Red is just completely unopposed on the other side. Probably cross-map trading. Um, I could scout, but... Honestly, it's going to be a tall order. All right, let's grab this. Bring it over here. Do I smell proper siege? Oh, no, it's a little arrow tower. That's interesting. Probably has Mansa Quarry. Hey, archers, come on. Come on, boys. I should probably just be massing spring alts, too. Look, Friar Chuck's like, don't worry, guys. I got you. I think the Mongols are probably going to win. Yeah, that would be my those would be my predictions here. Okay, he's just gonna give me some rams for free. I'll take it. I will I will trade wood for wood. He's gonna get half of a building. And get you down. Cool. I'll take it. Let's gather up, boys. He's got a lot of spring alts. All right, back we go. Any gold options on the map? Not really. Just nothing, dude. We're just in the pits of hell. So let's get you. Um, is there... Yeah, we could try reestablishing water trade again. Yeah, Mongols have got to be close to a wonder. I feel like we're going to be able to hold this for a long time. I'm surprised to see that. <laughs> look, look at Orange, dude. <laughs> you knew that was happening, right? <laughs> He's acting surprised. What's there to be surprised about? I have no gold in corner. All right. 
I'm still gonna help, obviously. But, um, yeah, this is gonna be incredibly hard. Although, do we have some schemes here, actually? Hold on. Wookie played very well in terms of attacking me, but, um... The threat recognition was definitely not on point for people this game. <laughs> the Mongols are cackling pretty hard now. Alright, let's get some walls set up here. Let's clean this shit out. Alright, so we're going to send some ramps to clear out the uh, Malian infrastructure while we push. And you guys are going to clear out some towers here. Towers. And then let's see if we can get all these down. We have some plays. We have some plays. They're janky as hell, but um, we might be able to do a little something about that wonder. Okay, what do we delete? We're at 104 eco. Take a handful of these archers and send them, send them to the great beyond. Okay, so I'm thinking maybe like something funny up the water here. Let's take our army and push across. We're cleaning out the towers. If, if This is a tricky one, because if I lose, if we get this wonder, then I'm probably just dead, because he's got gold and probably trade. It's definitely a weird position to be in. All right. Let's get you heading to the middle. How are we looking? Let's take this down, and uh, so let's get this and this. And then we just clear out all the siege infrastructure here with the rams. Because we gotta like play our play our borders. Okay, so we're neutralizing. Holy shit. Oh my god, look at this. Okay, they're not upgraded yet though. Regardless, our plan is a little bit different than you would expect. It's gonna be a little bit of this sneaking up here. So that's the game plan. Time to find gold. Yeah, no kidding, dude. I wish there was a dock down here to trade with, but it doesn't look like there is. I don't think we're going to be able to get uh, a counter a counter on the wonder or anything like that. Yeah. Okay, the villagers are doing its thing. Let's go steamroll this. I'm preparing to help. I'm, I'm taking a playbook out of old Allied Trex's playbook here. Shout out, shout out to Prince in chat. All right, so we. Yes, this is good. We're clearing out all the old Malian Empire. I don't think I'm going to be able to get the sacreds quick enough, but I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of make a play for it here. All right, so the decap is going down. Need somebody to go decap this. So let's get you guys on that. Spending all my gold on this dreaded corner operation. You guys, in the meantime, just get on some lumber. Okay, they actually do have some some play here. That sacred side up top could um, probably do something. We got two minutes left, but the Mongols probably will move an army out here to try and um, try and stop me. And I only have one prelate. This guy's. I, I legit think there's like no upgraded arrow towers there. All right, you stay there, buddy. A couple of you guys stay here to protect him. And we take down the Mongol tower here. Let's get the fire chucks in there. The thing is, I can't, like, defend these very well, you know? Is there any bills down here? Yeah, there was. Okay, we need to get a dock. Go, Friar Tux! Go, go, go! Get a couple of you guys coming to the middle. Give me that money! Alright, so we do have that. I mean, I... I don't know. It depends. It depends. We have some play here. There's a couple options for this jank. So technically we do have the sacreds, but obviously it could be taken from us at any point. The Malian's rat's nest has been removed from the base, which is exactly as we wanted. Uh, we have a sacred victory on the clock. Um, do I have any workers up here I could pull that would be helpful? Um, I don't believe so. We could take a couple food workers and do this. Alright, just make it so it's not so easy to just take those down. Alright. Yeah, no, it's it's nice gold at the very least, right? These these sacreds here. Oh, we don't need that. Okay, let's get you back on wood. I mean, I do have these. The Mongols probably have something to. Uh... I've got sacreds. 
you may have to delete. I'm trying to play the game here. The Rams are still cackling all the way to the bank. He must be very heavily focused on microing that fight. Uh, transport ship. The boat will come and we can move up that way and see if we can do any sneaky sneaky. Yeah, because he's got like a... He's got like a box of doom in the corner, right? Yeah, man, I wish there was a way to wall this too. Doesn't look like there is. We can do this and this, I guess. And we're, we're testing the delete because I've got the sacreds ahead of him. Um, transport ship. It's not up at the moment. Let's get on the food. <laughs> Wood is just so sparse this game. Do this, buy a cannon emplacement here, you know, whatever. We need some static defenses. He goes out on his shield. Interesting. He, so there's some he's, there's some hardball politics being played here, guys. Some seriously hardball politics. Old Wookie trying to reason with him. Trying to reason with him. Going all in on army here doesn't really make much sense to me. Okay. Is there any stone left on the map? Yeah, so the idea here is that, um, you know, it forces a delete, right? Is what you would expect. And that's what most people would do in this situation, but maybe he's he's a, a man of chaos. Let's get you over here. This one's basically impossible to defend. I mean, I can get some... Uh, I'm getting some money here. We're going to make a spring tower there. Just pure desperation, basically. The Rams have cleared out all of that infrastructure. This is definitely putting uh, putting Homeboy in a weird position. Let's just go, like, trolling in his base. Nah, you know what? We don't want to make too many, like, enemies of him, right? Yeah. All right. Um, let's delete some vills, but where do we delete them? Our eco isn't that amazing at the moment. We have the sacreds with um, some very light entrenchment. Let's go here, go here. We got two cannon towers. And um, yeah, there's like no infrastructure around here whatsoever. All right. So let's get real janky. The plays. Go, my minions. Secure the middle. Now we just try and try and make sure the top is safe, right? Okay, let's get these rams actually over here. And they can start deleting all this. All right, I'll take it. Wow, this would be a weird-ass game if we won this way. But, you know, if people want to be really stubborn on the politics, then this is what they get, you know? Because, you know, it makes... It puts what's a, it puts purple a green and a, a red in position where you you know want to probably punish him. Go my minions. Leave him with the palisades of doom. You've gotten all that infrastructure out. Our wood kind of sucks. We have a wild trader down here. He's like I want I want some of that. We got a couple cannon emplacements. Let's just make whatever we can. Um, I feel like Red's going to make a play for the Wonder at some point. Not Red. Yeah, the Mongols. I feel like they're going to. So let's get some springs here. And then we can just kind of go all in on this center landmark. But God, our wood sucks. Oh, man. If you don't delete, most people will go out on their shield for a turn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, who knows? I would. I honestly wouldn't be upset if Orange came and tried to kill me too. Like I would. I would respect that. It's, it just depends, you know, because the way for Orange to win is is to force the delete out of this guy. He could be. Let's see if he plays possum. I don't think that would be like even the proper expression though. So we need to get some stone walls here of our own. Selling and we can buy. 
We get the emplacement. We're, we're doing the jankiest of entrenchments possible. Alright, so let's get the gatehouse done here. Um, I could go all in, like delete these guys and just pull a fat army to the middle. Probably a good idea. Mm-hmm. Okay. This is like my best chance of winning here, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna just delete all my food eco and not all of it, we'll keep a little bit. And we're gonna go all in on it. We're just gonna get a huge military and just try and hold the mid. <laughs> hey Frank, thank you. Thank you, thank you. See red's coming for it, but little does he know we are we are here and we're pissed, baby. The wooden palisades will show no mercy. Captain Insano shows no mercy. Fight him in the choke point where their numbers count for less. Look, they can't get in. Oh my god, dude. Alright. So we need you guys to just, like, get some lumber in the meantime. Okay, you see this. Come and rebuild this. <laughs> he's riding around. Look, he's riding and trying to find a way in, dude. Oh, that's so funny. Oh, this is hilarious. This is absolutely hilarious. He just like lost that whole army of Kashyyyks. <laughs> yes, let the shithouse's defenses rise, minions, rise. Alright, so we got gatehouses all over here now. Should be resecured. Keep some of you guys in here in case there's any funny business. Let's get Springalds in there. Yes, good. Knock, knock. He's knocking, dude. He is. We have can we have a couple cannon towers here. It's not like super entrenched, but I'm honestly pretty poor, so. Um, where the hell did those rams go? Didn't we have rams here? Oh, they must have gotten called in the middle. Two minutes until sacred victory. I keep getting nervous that something funny is happening over there, but... Do you have any villagers left in the base here? Alright, they need to head up here and we need to do a little something about this. Maybe we can get some walls, we'll have to see. Damn, we didn't finish those walls, that's really crappy. I don't think they're going to make it there in time. I was going to uh, destroy those and then make a couple of my own. Three minutes to wonder defeat. Wow, dude, look at that! Holy shit! The, how the, this is like the truly the most, the meek will inherit the earth game I've ever seen. It's just like... Yeah, Milk doesn't want to give it. So I just end up because of uh, taking the sacreds and stopping him, you know? <laughs> yeah, I mean, whatever, dude. We'll take it. Screw it. We, we politicked our way into this one. This is like a... Uh... Okay, can we like fit some walls here? Oh, that's going to be hard to fit. Let's like those. Oh, can't quite fit in there. That's what she said. Yeah, damn. Well, 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 when the Rams make it there, maybe. Alright, dude, I'll take it. The ki true kingdom of heaven victory, I know. Dude, wood is just, uh... Wood is spice this game. I don't think Reds can even try for it. Knock these towers down. Uh, yeah! <laughs> A little bit anticlimactic, I'm not gonna lie! To be fair though, it's a good lesson, you know, like, because here's the thing, guys. Let me explain a little something something to you. If he deletes his wonder, then orange and red steamroll me off the objective, okay? Um, you know, they, they steamroll me, and then he has a chance to win the game. Like, red is 100% still in that game against orange. But now, you know, you basically are just signing your own death warrant. That was the weirdest of games, dude. Bro, I was so poor, I had no gold. I went Holy Romans, I was like super hard that game. I was like, hell yeah, dude, I'm gonna fire up Age of Empires and get like 10 relics and just crush everybody with the HRE. And I'm just like starving there with one relic. I, I, you know what I wanna see is gold or oranges com gold comparison to mine. Still got it, baby. Old man still got it. All we had to do was survive against orange for like 45 minutes. All right, one second here. Let's see what we got. GG. There it is, that's right. 
Um, all right, you guys ready for the gold overview? So, well, that can't be, oh, it's only 9,000 difference. Still pretty substantial though. That's a lot of good quality units. Yeah, he was crushing me on most resources. I had the most food in the game. Who had the most gold? <laughs> the most gold was Mongols. Oh my God. So I was definitely one of the worst on gold of the late game players, but not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Guys, I think there was just one relic on the map. I think there was just one. Can you check and see that? Let me check here. All right. Um, dude, I'm such a potato. Let me change my match history. Uh, it hasn't appeared in my match history yet. No, it hasn't. Okay. Yeah, it hasn't appeared yet. That was a wild, wild game. All right, guys, time for round two. So uh, I think I'm feeling okay to play. My hands feel pretty good. So I'm going to go for a round two here, but we're going to do an uh, island map this time. So let's get some water going. Let's do um, migration is fun. Gravity, the group invites like cheating though, because then you have a pre-arranged pre pre game of players. It's not fair to everyone else. So um, we are going to do the Ar Archipelago. I think is how you say that. It's always a weird word. All right. Throw an FFA. Because if I just join preset games, it's not fair to everyone else. There you go. See, you still got it anyways. Look at that. Holy shit, Gravity and Smeagol in here. Oh, that's a heavy hitter. Hello, observers. You got it. I got you guys covered. Thanks for joining tonight. It's been a fun one so far. That was a weird game. The Meek truly... I was the biggest late game potato there. I had one relic. I was just absolute shit. The, the Wookiee was, was definitely stronger than me. I couldn't push out. Um, He had the at least the pit mine money, weak. you know, so he was... Please don't kill me. Could play, play harder than I could. I was just a potato. Um, All right. So who do we want to go with here? Um, Let's have some fun. Do we go with the, no, uh, yeah, let's, you know, I don't really know how to play Ottomans at all, but an island map is like a good place to just mess around. All right, set no teams. This is an all-star match, it is, dude. Another, the thing about island games is they don't take too long. I mean, they might take long, but it's not too much micro. It's just like, I can just get in there and, you know, take it easy. Kitty, Kitty needs to set no teams. There you go. All right. I don't even know what Ottomans would do well on on this map. I have no idea. <laughs> We're going to just try and set up on one of the islands there. And, you know, what's cool about Ottomans, if I can get a couple military schools on a safe island, I can, I can like, have a constant flow of free units. You didn't see it on custom. It's weird. Yeah, sometimes it appears, sometimes it doesn't. The best bet, uh, if you want to get into games, is add me as a friend. Hey, Frank, thanks for becoming a channel member, by the way. Greatly appreciate it, man. And uh, yeah, here we are. Might not be the longest stream tonight. After this game, I'm, I'm gonna, I need to record some videos. So I'm going to jump off and do that. But um, tomorrow night, maybe. No, tomorrow night, I probably won't be on. But um, Sunday, for sure, we'll do something. Maybe some Dune Spice Wars. Yeah, this is a very good players. But the island, is a, the island changes things. You know, like people who are normally like, island's a different beast. I don't know, Matt. What's going on with you, man? That's what she said about the lo the last game wasn't too long though that was like well like an hour and fifteen minutes hour and a half give or take it wasn't it wasn't too terrible all right so the Ottomans are here you know I just want to play Ottomans so I can get those badass grand galleys dude those huge just chungus warships of doom all right let's get you guys do this on the tree line here. Nice island so far. If, if if what's what's great about this spot is if there's no way to surround us, we can um we can set up our military schools and have infinite military engines. Thank you, dude. You've been playing some StarCraft, I can see, huh? You got the you got the Zerg all up in here. Okay, so I do not play Ottomans at all. They're a very cool civ, but um yeah, I I don't know much about them, so bear with me as I read the text and different things. I know it's a very stacked lobby. It really is. Got the one relic on the island, which is cool. Um, definitely a wonder option, like on the back corner, with like mass Ottoman great bombards here, dude. That that kind of is like calling to me a little bit. Chris is trading, kill him. I know. See, you got it. You got to watch out. You got to watch out. Okay, let's get the lumberjacks going. Food is okay so far. Great island spot. The fact that I can't be... I, I hope everybody has something like this. This is just like... This is really powerful here. The Grand Galleys though, having like these big warships with like troops on them is cool. You play Protoss in StarCraft? Nice. 
I, I, Protoss was my main. Wait, do I have two relics? No, I just have one. Okay. Yeah, I got to, uh, I got really high ranked on Protoss. Um, I was like probably a master's level. Yeah, probably like a master's level Terran, like low masters. And then I was pretty much GM. I, I'm pretty sure I got GM with Protoss like right when the game came out. I can't remember. Might have been high masters. It's a long time ago. All right. So yeah, what we want to do is just colonize the island, right? Um, that's the play. So we're going to set up double docks, keep you going on wood, all in the back there. All right, outstanding. For the price of a cup of coffee a day, you can adopt a sad English. <laughs> yeah, this is a great island though. Holy shit, this is really good. This is really good. I'm super excited for Stormgate though. I, I hope it, I hope it, I hope it can do it. I would love to have like a, just a really solid RTS game to cover. Like Age of Empires is is that, but another one, you know, I, I want more. Give me the scraps, dude. All right, so double dock out of the gates here. Um, how are we looking? Yeah, good. You buddy can do some shoreline fishing. We got the boats coming out in droves. The boats with the fur. And uh, yeah, then we can switch on to gold here in a second. We can do the gold in the back of the base. It's Friday, none of the regular yeah, yeah, everybody's everybody's free to play tonight, which is great. Okay. Keep it going, man. All right, so let me read these Vizier points. Spawns two Imams, um, gives you the hospital thing, right? The Metter increases the movement speed to... Oh, okay, in the same formation. Sheep at the landmark, increases villager mining speed by 50. Yeah, that's pretty good. Probably has to go that direction, right? We're going to be very late to the next age because we're being pretty greedy on the eco here. Pretty greedy. What are your thoughts on water-based tourneys? Uh, I, I think water maps are fun, like, casually. I think, like, a better test of skill, though, typically is the, um... Although, I don't know. Island, islands, it's its 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 own beast. I prefer, like, land as the primary, like, FFA we play, but, yeah. Overall, it's, it's fun. We need an AoE section on Total Tavern. I know, I've thought about that. So what I could do is I could do, um, I could copy the code of Total Tavern and make a new website, which would be for our Age of Empires community. Um, but the thing is, I don't know if I would have like the manpower to like run it and manage it and stuff. But um, if somebody in our community wanted to do that, we could we could we could put in some work there and um, and get like a Total Tavern for our Age of Empires community, and it could be like for an FFA league or something, right? So it would keep track of your stats and win rates and. Although, I don't know how that would work. No, it wouldn't. Hmm. It would only work for 1v1 tournaments. It doesn't have like an FFA thing. So I don't know like how helpful it would be right now as it currently stands. I don't know. Something to think about. I'm, I do plan on doing that for other games like that are 1v1 that I mainly focus on 1v1 like Stormgate and stuff. Um, all right, guys. Keep it up. Keep the boats for the boats god. Boats for the boat thrones. Should be able to age up here in a second. And uh, for landmarks, the Sultani Trade Network comes with two traders. And uh, yeah, so garrisons generate 28 per one up per one for each one. Okay, so probably we go for that landmark actually. It's not like amazing, but it is a source of uh, a free gold, which you know is, is definitely going to be wanted here. Yeah, we could do like 1v1 tournaments if we had such a website, but it, it isn't. Total Tavern doesn't have the tools for FFA tournaments. Probably wouldn't be too hard to develop though. I don't know. So let's grab you guys, do this. And we can go grab the trade network and just get the garrison traders in it. Alrighty. And you come up here. And then we need to prepare to uh, colonize the, the great beyond. No idea how, but you can make your ships into military schools. I'm pretty sure it's just the Grand Galley. It's this, this one right here. <laughs> Even I know this. All right, so next up we need a transport ship. We need to go colonize an island stat because if we just let let everyone else have the islands and we're just a potato in our base. Have you tried Old old World? You mean the tabletop game? It's not out yet. I would love to have tried it, but no, it's, it's, it's simply not out. Yeah, but I do plan on covering it pretty extensively. I definitely do. Eh, you stay there and you go there. All right, you do this. Let's get you guys to go up here. The transport ship is here. Grab a couple of you guys, and then we can take you and come over. All right, boys. The first colonists are on their adventure. Control shift C, and we get the scout. Take him as well. And probably we do the um, 
Yeah, so I need it to advance, right? So probably gonna do that just for the mining speed on the boys. Because it gives them what, 15% mining speed is what it said? All right, let's go colonize, man. Let's, let's go join the new world. Okay, let's update this. Can definitely get some military school action going um, eventually. Because we want, the, the units are free, right? So there's not too many reason I shouldn't set up a sweet military school operation back here. So we're gonna set that up and uh, colonize this island here and then try and get an expansion on that stat. Okay. Nice. So there is a gold node here. Let's get the tower up and get a defensive emplacement. And we can scout this island and see what's going on in the neighborhood. Nobody's landing on our shores yet, which is good. Um, do we want to make this? Yeah, we can make that for one of them. The fact that there's two relics here is pretty awesome, so we need to get to Castle Age quick to make sure we can really, really enjoy ourselves. Let's get the military schools going. Yeah, Ottomans seem fun. To me, they... I, I When I play 1v1, I'm more of like a potato. I like to play like very simplistic civs, like English and HRE. But, um, yeah. Okay, so almost enough stone. Let's pull you guys do this. So turn in and then head that way. And these guys will also be on gold and then we can hit a fast castle age. I think we're okay on the fishing fleet for now. We'll get a couple more of those boats. Alright. Yeah, actually, no, we, we can cancel the fishing boats. You guys keep going there. Gold is going to pop off here. Let's make a little arrow emplacement. Hopefully it'll help protect some of this. And we do have a nice island. Yeah, the market placement's okay, but it's kind of close to me, so it's not like, ooh, what's going on down there? Some funniness. Some feudal aggression would be actually pretty hilarious, I'm not going to lie. All right, military schools. I just want to be safe. Make sure I don't get, like, invaded super hard here. Hitting the lumber on the island. Castle Age landmarks. Let's go ahead and evaluate those. Yeah, it's definitely got to be the Mehmet Armory, right? Yeah. Get those free artillery pieces. Somebody's somebody's checking nearby, scouting around. So we will get the military school here. And yeah, I guess we, we're not in like a huge rush for the other TC. I'd rather get those relics first. All right, so almost enough stone. Fishing eco is good. Need a little bit more gold, so let's pull you and move this way. It's a nice little island here though. It's definitely a nice little island. All right, so people are reaching Castle Age before me, obviously. Um, this does count as a market, does it not? It does. All right, so let's grab this, and we can do the Mehmet Armory here. Uh, yeah, get me back here. All right, so the Age Up of the Gods is on the way. Uh, let's go ahead and just get Horsemen for now, some Sipahi. And uh, hopefully we can secure these relics. An HRE player might try and like get over here and weasel them. And Troll me in that way, but... Alright, let's make sure we're making you guys, so the military schools are jamming for units. Get another house going. And the big armory is on its way. Yeah, we're very behind. I kind of want to like power build this to make sure I get those relics. Somebody could come and take the relics off our island too, which would admittedly be very funny, but... Um, Alright, let's set you up. Wall that off. The Great Beyond over there. Almost have enough for a... Um, Second TC on that island, which we'll definitely get. People are reaching Castle Age. If we can get the relics on this island, dude, I'm going to feel very confident. All right. Let's get that in placement and good. All right. Okay, let's do this and this and have you just go ahead and make mangonels, which I think is great. Give me the free units for the unit gods. All right. And then you guys come over here and power build this. Yeah, we see we see a Chinese scout down there. One of the reasons why I'm like I'm trying to trying to get that all set up. We're still getting stones, so definitely keeping the main base would be next. And Seagate Castle, we can slap it down to the island, but I kind of want to just entrench fully on the um, the back base here. Somebody's nearby with a fishing boat. I should be scouting. I'm just being so lazy. God damn, what am I doing? Although I was keeping this here for a reason. Yeah, I'm not completely a fool. Like a half fool. All right, outstanding, cool. So let's get these walls completing. Um, this should give us that keep that we want. Somebody trying to get close, but the oh, I knew it. No, 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 not today, dude, not today. 
Burn it down. No! Son of a gun! How dare you? Okay, at least we got one. Let's get out of here. We should be grateful for our relics that we get. Okay, I'm gonna have to read those in a second. All right, so let's go drop this off, do this, and um, from here, can we get more military schools? We can. And, okay, so I don't play Ottomans again, so I need to allow siege engines to be garrisoned with infantry. That's pretty good, and increases the amount of, yeah, so the amount of gold traders collect from the Sultani trade network. Hmm. I don't know, yeah, the siege engine garrison one seems pretty good, but the military school one thing is cute, too. Increases the amount of gold traders collect and income from this Sultani trade network. Can somebody in chat explain what that is for me? I, again, I, I don't play I don't play these bad boys, so I'm not really sure. All right, let's do that. Yeah, I know. I got to remember the vizier points, right? Dude, I, I have been duped for the last time. Let's hide him in the tower. That's gonna be okay, and uh, we can start in some upgrades and get more of you guys going. Some fishing boats. Is your avidity scheming? Do I, do I need to be careful that there's an invasion coming? That means the landmark gold. Got, oh, from here. Okay, yeah. And by the way, we need to sauce this thing out too. Hey, two relics ain't bad. I'm not going to complain. I'm not going to complain at all. Your first landmark is the trade network. Got it, got it. Okay. So that's not going to happen. So, all right. Let's get you with this. Do some houses here. And um, let's do the garrisoned siege. I think that's going to be great for like bombards and things later on, right? All right. So all is going according to plan. We're not dead yet, which is a huge win for us. And um, we have free infantry coming out. Let's go ahead and get fishing. Fully operational. This TC is going to be up, which means we can start producing here. Yeah, no, I'm already making more traders to garrison inside the landmark. That was, that was the plan. All right. Let's get that capped out. Now, Seagate Castle on the island is kind of cute. Um, but I, I would like it definitely in the corner here, if possible. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to... I think the island is good. It, you don't want all your landmarks in one spot. You know, it's, it's very potato when that happens. Okay. Come on, boys. You're not turn, but <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I played Ottomans when they first came out, but it's it's been a hot minute, so. Um, all right, let's set up another TC here. You can do it very slowly. It's not like a super, super urgent thing, but yeah. All right, boys. Keep it going. Let's get the textiles there, too. Um, people are reaching castle. We could be imperial kind of soon. The trade network of zero bonus combined with the Seagate castle trader speed makes Ottoman traders. Yeah, yeah, I know that. Um... I guess I could do Seagate on the sea and have it like trade down that way, but yeah, we could do some naval trade. Let's go up here and do this. We're gonna want to start getting some 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 goodies there. All right, uh, Chris, my other neighbors are much worse. He says it's a turn. <laughs> I'm not that bad. Come on, dudes. Okay, we don't need this. It's actually kind of foolish. All right, cool. All right, let's garrison you bad boys up. We're going to get the warships, the Grand Galleys. Yeah, that's the plan. Kind of just happy to be chilling out here. All right. Uh, produce Janissaries and Lancers. And then this one increases the production. Yeah, I like the Janissaries and Lancers things. Being able to make the Janissaries is going to be awesome. All right, Fire Chucks. How are we looking? Got five guys living their best life somewhere. Fishing boats just can't figure out how to repath. They're just like, no, thank you. Dovey Tanya. And uh, Seagate so Castle time. How are we looking here? Yeah, everything's looking good on the island. The Blessed Island of the Gods. There's only two islands like that. Um, it looks like Gravity has the other one. I think we're going to slap down Seagate Castle there and just try and secure a little trade like on the southern end. It's a little bit dicey though, for sure. Yeah, Gravity's always a tyrant. What's, what else is new? Almost done with the stone here. Um, we're gonna want to get a keep in our base to make sure we don't die to a land invasion. So we're gonna slap that down. And then it's Seagate in time. All right. So Seagate Castle here will um, potentially hit traders coming around the bend, which is really nice, right? I think that's how that works, who knows. And um, let's start getting some trade ships going down here. Cool. 
Every little bit counts, right? Um, we could be invaded. Probably going to want to get more um, military infrastructure on the mainland if we can. So we need to like clear out stupid shit like these berry bushes so we have more uh, real estate to work with, right? Alright, so Seagate Castle's going down. It Trying to make it look like I know what I'm doing. <laughs> we do have the gates here. Um, no sense in making those. Alright, so there's only one way to get in, and that's from the north. I love that I'm just getting free units. Definitely don't want spearmen eating up supply. Yeah, great. So we got Janissaries now doing their thing. Oh man, Sai's gonna see this and just wrap me out so hard. Yeah, there's gonna be some uh, some uh, some complaining here in a second. Alright, so let's set you up, and then we can get like a partial operation going here. So you get castles there. Oh, that's so cool that I can get a great bombard in that emplacement. That is so incredibly metal. Tithe Barns, yes, it's going to add up over the course of a long game. Now we want to get the Great Bombards getting in there. Cool, so we got Janissaries and Great Bombards coming. Let's do this, and then we can get some Spearmen at another location over here. And uh, one, two... Yeah, unfortunately, that's on the coast, so it could get compromised. Alright, like Spear Janissary seems like a good combo. Hell yeah. Give me the Seagate Castle speed, baby. Look at that. It's very flavorful. Could be our doom, though. Alright, so next up, do we want to get some Grand Galleys? I'd say the answer is hell yeah, because they sound awesome. So let's go to our docks down here and start getting some upgrades. Uh, that was a demo ship upgrade, so we don't need that. And what else do we want to get? Yeah, looks good. Looks good. Just get all the basic military upgrades for those bad boys. Don't Did I, did I screw something up? We'll make all of your keeps boost traders. Oh, got it. Okay, well... You live in the you learn. I don't play Ottoman, so we're uh, we're learning the hard way today. Oh, Janissaries are so cool, though. It looks very thematic here. It looks very thematic. It's just like this epic keep. I wanted to build one on the island anyways, so it's not the worst thing. All right, so we got the this business. Uh, increases the speed of military schools, the amount traders collect, and income from the Sultani trade network. From the increases the amount of gold traders collect and income from the Sultani trademark. All right, let's do that. That sounds good. We definitely want to just get this cackling like sea trade going here. Let's do that, and then you guys. We can build the uni back here. Yes, good Anakin. Good. Gather the legions. Let's get them fully upgraded, and um, the galleys of doom will come soon. Let's do that, and then we can go ahead and get some Grand Galleys. Yes. This is very cool, though, having this, like, Seagate Castle, like, hanging here. Okay, let's hit the gold a little bit harder. Somebody's trying to scout my shit here. I don't like it. I don't like the fact that Smeagol's up here poking around. It's it's definitely very uncomfortable. But yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna do a little push here in a minute. Janissaries are looking cool. Um, we need to get more military schools down here. We have the space. Uh, yeah, we do. And uh, yeah, everything's going more or less to code. Smeagol is fleeing the scene. He's going to encounter my dreaded Seagate Castle, which um, the Great Bombard emplacement costs what? Let's get that. It's just too cool not to get. We got to get the Great Bombard emplacement, right? All right, so let's get the HP on the boats. Army's looking okay. Oh, the Grand Galley. So what do I need to do this? Uh, oh, so it actually takes up... Okay, so if we stop this, we can make this into one of our military schools. Got it. So that's how that works. Okay. That's how that works. You live and you learn, man. You live and you learn. All right, so university. Let's get gunpowder upgrades, which are going to be necessary. Yeah, the Seagate Castle is hanging on strong, and it's going to have a great bombard emplacement soon. Oh, somebody's trading to the other side. Yeah, okay, we can't have this shit. Who the hell is this? Oh, it's your avity. The Seagate's not going to be able to quite reach him. Okay. We need to shut this shit down like stat. Can't allow this to happen. Okay, so he's going to try and do that. Let's go get our galley to protect. Stop hogging the, the Hagger neutral trade, he says. That's pretty funny. Alright, let's get... Now we probably just want you guys and you finish this. Um, let's just absolutely annihilate all the gold and wood on this island. Yeah, see, the Seagate Castle is popping his trade ships. That's good. 
good. Oh, the Grand Bombard. Yes, good. You get none of the Haggard trade, dude. It's only me. Oh, yes. And the first Great Bombardo cannons have arrived. So cool. All right. Is there any space down here? We could do this. And, um... Yeah, man, space is really, really a problem on these island maps. Two and three. Any upgrades we need? Probably not a bad idea to get some spearmen. I do want to uh, do a little bit of a land invasion soon, though. Yeah, so the military, um, the Grand Galley is training Janissaries in its hold, which is just so incredibly flavorful. I love it. Wow, people weren't in the Imperial Age yet. Okay, so we just need to hog this trade here if we can. GG, he's saying to somebody already. Okay, wow. Uh, that escalated quickly. Let's get some transport ships. I don't know what size up to you over here. Probably no good. Um, other upgrades. Let's get army tactics. It's going to be prudent. Move you up this way. And I think we have most of the upgrades. Yeah, just the incendiary ship ones are missing. All right, so where's a lot of our supply tied up? Yeah, we're just like too heavy on the eco. Siege, yes. Great Bombardos come. Let's get max out on our upgrades. Can normal keeps great, get the Great Bombards? It's a good question. I actually don't know. It's a good question, my friend. The Dread Legion. It's eyeing its, it's eyeing its neighbor. Um, what do we want to cut? Probably could afford to lose some of the Lumberjackers. Alright, so now the troops are going to replenish. Hopefully that will get going. Looks good. Let's just like knock down these walls preemptively. And see what we can get done here. No, so we're going to load up here and see if we can actually like press. I suspect we won't be able to. I don't know how strong he is. He could be way stronger than me for all I know. Turn, I'm busy. Can you come back later? That's the idea. You're vulnerable now, so we have to attack. All right, let's just clear these walls. All right, good, good. Let's land the, the dread Ottoman invaders. All right, cool, so we're moving up. Let's do this, and the villagers can keep building, and let's start knocking shit down here. And drop you too. Alright. So that's going. We have some Janissaries in reserve if we need. Which is cool. He actually has a decent little army here, so let's keep these guys close to the shoreline. Let's pull back here if we can. Looks like they were never able to start that. Alright. Don't know how this fight goes here, honestly. No idea. My, a lot of my units weren't upgraded, so they could pay the price. Let's get the Great Bombard loaded into the ship. Come on. Save it. Save it. No, no, no. Load in. Load in. Why are you not loading? Okay, there we go. The Great Bombard was able to escape. Navy is cackling here. And where is the other one going? Okay, the one with my Janissaries, I was going to say. Clean out the stupid islands of all its resources. And I'm not talking about that, the player I'm fighting here. I'm talking about the uh, the Great Bombard fleeing to the seas was, was pretty good. Yeah, he, he's saying he got 2v1'd here. That's rough. Let's go repair this cannon. We can do that. Set up some towers here. Uh, we, we we don't have like a huge military, but we're, we're gonna take whatever we can. Dude, the Great Bombard cannons are literally just the coolest thing, though. They're so incredibly cool. Alright, let's go drop some reinforcements off on the coast. By our Great Bombard cannon. Uh, it's not. A, I don't think it's worth a keep, to be honest, guys. I don't think it is. Our trade ships are kind of obnoxiously in the way right now. Okay. How are we looking? Yep, basically just trickling in units at this point. Kind of out of steam. What we can, on the other hand, do is build some cannon emplacements because it's a little bit less of an investment. All right, so Bombardos are doing their thing. Um, are we being pressed in the south? Not really. Okay, it's just, it's just this. And uh, the big scary Bombards are coming. Let's go ahead and garrison in there to increase its stats. 
And do we want to make this a military school also? I think we could probably delete one of our military schools here and make uh, that ship into the other Grand Galley into a military school. Okay, there's TC there. These guys are ready to go. Let's load up, load up. All right. Great. So just the slow grind. Let's just keep rams coming out. You guys just move up, purge those trees. Trees for the tree throne. Um, what's great about this this whole invasion here is we get access to a lot of um, we get access to a ton of uh, resources like wood. So we need to just keep pushing basically. Okay, transport ships. We have our grand galleys, which I love that mechanic. That's so incredibly fun. We're just going to make Janissaries, because why would you build anything else? Oh, gravity's coming to attack me. Interesting. He might be able to shut down my trade. I'm not sure. Got a lot of war junks heading to my uh, my, my coast here. And uh, let's get you guys to do this. It's just like a janky war junk fleet. I don't know if we can actually stop it with what we have here, but... Okay, so let's nail this down. The galleys are nearby, but do we have any troops on the shoreline? We do, so let's lure them over to the shores. Okay, great bombard. Let's get you nearby. He's trying to shut down my trade, which is okay. We should be able to get it going again. And then we just keep pumping out um, yeah, warships. Yeah, a lot of those guys are going to get karate chops. I wonder what he's up to, your avity. I don't want like a late game English neighbor here, so we're gonna we're definitely gonna try and take him out and just secure all the wood. Um, all right, so let's get you guys. We can head down this way. We can go there. And now we need to just remax out on trade ships because we just lost quite a few. Destroy these stupid transport ships. All right, food is basically non-existent, but we have a huge food bank, so we're not too worried about it. He's got one relic here, which is outstanding, so we're definitely going to take that. Oh, great bombards are just the coolest thing in this game, dude. They're so rad. Alright, pulling back to the keep here. Which has the great bombard emplacement. Don't know what kind of work we're going to do, but we are going to lose two of our great galleys. That's too bad. Gravity going pretty hard in the Navy here, actually, believe it or not. Let's drop what Janissaries we can. Uh-huh. Got some units landing here. All right, cool. Very cute. Um, we do have some cannons waiting for them on the coast. Was he? Oh, is this? Oh, this is uh, someone else. This isn't gravity. Oh, okay. I thought that was gravity the whole time. It wasn't. It was someone else. Okay, let's get you. Okay, so we got some uh, some invaders on our shores. We can take our cannons over there and give them the dirty. Oh, I thought it was gravity the whole time. Okay, that makes more sense now. I was like, why is he over here? Look at the great bombards just going like chads. We're going to get the villagers just chopping them up here. Oh, man. I'm so why why do I have this like this idea that gravity is always always that he always plays the same color. I don't know what it is. Uh, military schools that could be built. Yeah, wouldn't be bad. We can get another Grand Galley at some point. How are we looking here? Holy shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh god. I regret going after the old English now, that's for damn sure. Because we need a lot more milk than that to deal with the Chinese dread fleet here. Oh my god, he's got, he's got an unholy legion. Okay. England still has a lot of men at arms, apparently. So we gotta we gotta focus on stabilizing over here, because otherwise we're just gonna get owned. All right, so let's get the dock set up. Seven, and just kind of get you guys looking good. Unfortunately, we're gonna be pushed off here. We're still trying to get the relics. Uh, looks like the Chinese fleet is landing here. Oh yeah, we could be in danger. We may have overextended ourselves a little bit. 
Not to say we can't come back. It's just, um, yeah, this is going to be a Trixie Hobbits. All right, let's get you guys up to the dock, let you heal a little bit. Main base is hanging in there. We're enjoying our free units. We have a shit ton of resources. We're very rich. All right, let's get a market so we can trade. Your Abity, like, always plays Teal. You know, always plays Teal. The idea was kind of like, oh, there's an English player here, though. Like, we don't want him to have his infinite gold, right? Should be able to muster a big fleet. Not too concerned about that. We do have good resources. Still have control of the island. Um, okay, let's get you guys. Do this. Oh my god, they never built it. Oh, it's so annoying. How many relics do we have on this island? I don't think there's any relics here at the moment. How's our military looking here? Not amazing. Alright, boys. Let's get it. We're going to need to get food online in a minute, um, which I guess we could just do with fishing. Yeah, so let's just get fishing boats pumping it out. I don't know if we can actually go down there. Let's uh, do this. Might be kind of hard to resecure that. We're going to move our big navy over here. We actually don't mind the English. So let's just like get our bearings. Get our eco back. Um, you guys finish this and this. And then we can slap down a keep right here. And let's hit the Chinese fleet here. And we'll just try and reestablish our island colony, basically. All right. Here comes our navy. Uh, how are we looking on food? Not amazing. Our military is colossal at the moment. And uh, did I actually get gunpowder? If I didn't get gunpowder, I'm going to be super disappointed. Um, looks like I did. Okay, that's good. All right, boys. Up on wood you go. Thankfully, we got the old free units of doom. So the island will be... Um, what are these boats? Yeah, we can probably keep mustering a big navy. The fact, though, is the matter is that we have a big uh, force here, too. We have, like, a big military on both fronts. Okay, let's snipe down the, ch the injured boats. One there, and then there's one there that's pretty beat up, too. Okay, I think this fight is probably not... He's probably outnumbers me here, although it's kind of close. The Grand Galleys are so cool. Alright, so let's gather up some reinforcements here. You guys can load up your dread fleet here. Because I might as well use this army instead of deleting it. The keep will come. We can lure them to the Great Bombards on the coast, which would be pretty brutal, actually. If he tries to come in this like narrow choke, they'll be they'll be ready. The English are gonna get a second lease on life. Okay, here they come. Come on, get in range. Yo, oh, look at the great bombards knocking those ships down. Hell yeah, let's go. Alright, let's load them up now. Go forth, my navy. Prosper. Alright, now we need to get that eco going. Our military is just so chunky. Okay. Let's go here, and then we can take a um, handful of you guys. Come down here also. The English are just like, what the hell is this, dude? Can we not get any peace? Hmm, Alright, let's load you guys up. No, he's actually attacking with the ship? I think it's just a mispath here. Uh, you're alive. He's saying he's dead, but he looks kind of alive to me. Okay, so let's load you guys in here. Con villagers. Alright. Let's do this and cut the old transport ships out of the control groups. You saw my landmarks. Oh, it looks like there's some scheming going on, guys. There's some scheming. I don't know if there's a way through that way. 
Here's China's fleet, which we're happy to go fight. Alright, um, not too many places to land, honestly, which is unfortunate. Alright, let's land. Uh, hopefully he doesn't get the one with the... Um, yeah, he just got the villager one. Okay, could be worse. Oh! <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Oh, yeah, give me in here, dude. I'm trying to build the Great Wall Gatehouse here. Okay. Let's go into his base with these guys. Go do a little bit of raiding. Whoa, what is with the pathing on these great bombards right now? Oh, come on, for the love of the Dark Gods. Alright, so we've gotten into the base to an extent. Um, we're going to have warships popping out here in a moment. Oh, the pathing on that was so unfortunate. Okay, let's get these wood villagers down. Janissaries repair. You guys repair. And now we have this huge navy with which to chase. Alright, you guys shoot. Looking good. And we're in your base. We are in your little empire here. He's going to be able to get this down, but definitely took some casualties. Yeah, but not having that naval trade sucks. And Chinese Navy is very scary, too. It's definitely stronger than mine, I feel. We need to find a way to get some damn resources here. Okay, he's hemorrhaging palace guards. Um, we have another army here. We could do another drop. Probably going to have to set up some janky farms if we want to, like, live. And then you guys can do this. Yeah, whatever, just like farms. We just need to be banking resources. This is just like the wildest naval fight ever. <laughs> the Great Bombard has just been the scourge of the lands. And the, the great part is it's all free. You don't have to pay for it. I don't know how much longer I can do this, though. I don't really have any gold reserves. Okay, so let's get you loaded up here, boys. Your grand galley needs to roll down this way. It looks like we're starting to win the naval fight. If we could sweep China out of the sea, that's going to be pretty brutal. Yeah, see, they had to invest a lot on land, so... Maybe that has something to do with it. I'm going to set up a keep here just to be safe. Alright, let's get you guys load up. Load up. And let's head on to China's coast here. Um, I don't know. I probably should just get regular military schools. All right, so let's go get the regular military schools. Trying to load up in here. I don't know what he's thinking is going to happen there, except losing a bunch of units. All right, let's move it, move it, move it. Maybe he's going to try a counterattack on my base, but I'll certainly be ready, I think. All right, let's go hunt those ships down, keep farming these. Drop here, drop here, and drop here. One down, he's got another one there. But he's going to discover the dreaded keeps on the shores. Should be pretty big for us. Unfortunately, uh, one of the worst landing spots for our other guys. Is he going to make it? That's that's the question. It's on fire. You got spearmen waiting for him there. All right, it's going all right. It's, it's a little bit hard to tell how this is honestly going. He never got wheelbarrow. And he does not get the drop off. Nice. So we just got all his units for free. See if we can push him out of the water. I'd be pretty happy if we could beat the Chinese at the, on the water. Just using the dreaded... Uh... Okay, let's nail you. Have you guys repair. Unfortunately, I don't have anywhere to load that up. So we are going to lose that great bombard. Yeah, wood's becoming sparse too, which is not good. I know we just have one TC here. Yeah, only one at the moment. 
Alright. So let's just pull back and chill out for a minute. We need to reestablish ourselves. We're being like way too zealous here against this guy. Regardless, we made some progress, but I don't know like how good his eco is, right? Is he going to be able to keep spamming all day? We got English next to us, who probably aren't happy either. Um, so yeah, so we gotta we gotta put some respect on that. Maybe he chases here. I don't know. We do have this keep here. Um, set up a, a great bombard keep there. It would be awesome. Okay, maybe they come if they fight near the keep. Then that's a huge win for us. No, looks like they're just gonna chill. All right, so we got to stand off with the old Chinese. Um, as far as the island goes, we do need to get more eco. Um, we have just janky farms here in the corner, just desperate times. Thankfully, our units are free. All right, I believe we got another one down here. All right, it's just two Janissaries all day. I do have I, I do have the Tithe Barns upgrade. Yeah. I do have another military school slot too. I feel like I should just slap another one down in the base though. Give me those free units and then we can kind of perpetually invade with them. Um, anything we want? Yeah, we got Farmville going. Which is alright. Let's see. No need. Alright, so how's that going there? Looks good. English are probably just trapped on their island. Let's go down this way. Do this. No, I mean, I'm not gonna... Because, yeah, I don't want him to... You know, If he has a reason... If he's being attacked... Maybe he's being... Oh, he's probably being attacked by somebody else is what's happening, maybe. Oh, it doesn't kind of look like it. I would like to get the Seagate Castle uh, rebuilt. That would be really cool. So we've taken that, and now we have all of these going. Definitely need to keep on the far side. Um, let's get you up this way. I'm going to land up some villagers and military on that island and see if I can restore the Seagate Castle. That's going to be the play. We need to heal up right now, though. These boats are damaged as hell. Mehmet Armory is going like a champ. He's chasing me with his junk fleet. He's putting some junk in the trunk. We'll make some hulks, because they're cheap. And get the job done. You're gonna come over here and fight? Alright, so we'll just loop you around if possible. I do have military in the base. So his Haggard Fire Lancer raid will maybe kill one artillery piece, but that's it. I mean, yeah, I guess he's gonna do a little bit of damage. I don't know. He's going to waddle around and maybe go down after my relics, I suspect. Alright. Cute little uh, palace guard run by. Oh man, look at the big place. He's going after my military school. Alright. Yeah, so his fleet's going to be squashed. His military, he's going to get a military school. Nothing I can't rebuild. Um, his transport ships are screening the shots, which is pretty funny. That is going to be the end of those. But who, I wonder who has trade. That's really going to be the question. Okay, so that went okay. Let's keep hammering down these Chinese ships. Um, wood's going to run out real like soon. And then we're going to be a potato. Like We have a wood patch in the corner. And that's like basically it. Alright, let's retreat. No sense in throwing away any uh, navy here. Let's grab you guys, do this. Um, we're going to grab the last of the trees in the corner. Yeah, alright. And then we can build you, get a military school going. Let's delete all these. Oh, shit, we should have gotten that. That's for damn sure. Alright, so we got a decent little fleet. Uh, transport ships, transport, transport. Do we have one? Yeah, yeah he's probably trading now. Uh, I suspect. China prob trading mid. Yeah, I mean, there's there's like uh, so many threats in this game. I I have no idea who could be doing what. Go after him then. I've been trading, okay. Looks like he's got some rallied units here. 
Oh, he's he's got random trade ships here, literally appearing out of nowhere. Okay, we'll take it. Freebies. Okay. Yeah, okay. Great. Alright, trade ships, let's party. Well, gravity is trapping him on an island. Okay, so it seems like there's some interesting interesting politics this game, for sure. Interesting politics, to say the least. Um, we're not going to be able to afford too many more navies. Okay, okay, okay. Fishing's going all right. We lost some farmers randomly. Um... We're not quite fully. Yeah, we need to. We need to build that which has fallen. Rebuild, I know. All right, so let's cruise over here. Let's head this way and see what we can do here. So the navy is going to go as a distraction of sorts. I don't know if we can do much here. We're going to take down a Chad, which is nice. Take down another Chad here. Seagate Castle will hold firm. Okay, now the Navy needs to retreat so we don't take unnecessary casualties. We successfully landed everyone. Okay. Outstanding. So let's go get this down. I don't think we're going to have time to rebuild the castle immediately. We can go and make a try for it. Um, see if he notices. Alright, back you go, back you go. Come on, rebuild the castle. Rebuild the fallen hold, brothers. Alright, we need the navy to come support now. I don't think that's going to work out too well. There's basically no wood here. Um, no, okay, okay. Interesting. He's bombarding at my shores. So we need to just muster an army in the base now real quick. We have some free units, which is great. Don't think the Seagate Castle is going to finish. We need to pull back here. We have some units in the base. Let's go hunting. Maybe he's going to like Fire Lancer hunt me? I'm not sure. Oh yeah, he's just going after military schools. I mean, we can just rebuild those. I, don't know. I feel like it's not like worth losing all those resources or units for, right? This is a smarter idea because it's more annoying for sure. Might be able to repair through that. We'll see. Alright. Let's go this way. Avoid that. Cool. I mean, he killed one military school. The big place. Okay. Do this. Pull you guys this way. Move up that way. Have the Great Bombard blast you in the face. Boom. Headshot. All right, fishing boats. You guys need to quit messing around and get back to business here. Dude, there's like no wood here. Okay, we just took down two warships, which is cute. Let's repair that bad boy. Let's come down here and see if we can sweep his, um, his operation. Okay, great bombard of the sea. How are we looking? Yeah, trying to knock through my uh, my gates here. Should be able to swarm them there. I like how we're just playing Benny Hill on the island. This is actually really funny. Maybe we can get this upgraded to stone. Repair that shit. Okay. Looking good. Let's go harass his coastline a little bit. See if we can knock down some of these ships here. Maybe. Villagers repair that. Nice. So now, now we're getting to his lumber economy a little bit. That's excellent. He can go wherever he wants. The dreaded Fire Lancer raids. They know no bounds. Okay, we, we are slowly kind of taking over the middle, which is really funny. And once again, he just loses all the Fire Lancers for nada. Cool. All right, that was that was solid. So let's just circle his island while we uh, continue just finishing these guys off. Yeah, let's repair this. I don't think he got anything that time. 
Let's do a big roundabout. Take down his uh, his navy here, hopefully. Alright, let's see what we got. Do that, and have you guys do this. Okay, now we're a little surrounded, so it'd probably be prudent to leave. We've done our damage. We have done our damage, brothers. Man, wood is just not going to happen, though. Seagate Castle rep repairing is going to be very difficult. Um, let's get the Great Bombard to start nailing these ships, too. I can assure you, there ain't nothing here, boss. Okay, did he actually get that? No. Are there any wood left around the island? Yes, a little bit. Got you guys hanging out back here, and we got our two relics from before. Seagate Castle repair would be pretty sweet. Oh, I don't know why this thing's shooting here. Okay, let's go see if we can repair that, like, sneaky sneaky like. Yeah, we, we basically have no navy now. He's still has he's still getting wood somewhere, probably from trade. Oh boy. Somebody better stop Teal. He's super rich. As hell. Yeah, somebody's gonna have to take him because he's very, very rich. We we've been like I would say slowing him like a thorn in his side, but I mean in general He's just very wealthy. All right, we're gonna go hide over here um, We still have a little bit of wood income from like loose trees around the base I've been bonked by your avid he says Smeagol Still have the English player. Oh, no, they got killed by fire lancers. Okay. He could land here He definitely land here might need to relocate my military schools to a bit of a safer spot. Villagers hustling on that wood. The fact that those Chinese boats have nested bees is crazy powerful. Alright, let's uh, garrison someone in there. Move you up. Start ripping some shots. Yeah, somebody's gonna have... Like, everyone has to team team him. Who is trading? Just teal? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, let's scoot back and just keep taking pot shots. Oh, the Great Bombard is so cool. How many military schools? We only have two at the moment. Alright, so over here, probably going to want to build our military schools. Just delete this. A couple villagers on the coastline being butchered, no surprises. So we're going to be forced off the shores for sure. Let's go defend our keep. Make sure we don't lose that in like a like a rush. All right, you guys get under here. Chris killed my last boat. Oh my god, there's some there's some hatred going around. We should probably like fully upgrade our units before things get too crazy. All right, bills. Do we have anybody we want to repair with? Yes, probably on this keep. Janissaries might have to go fight too. China is so freaking rich, dude. Who is, who is, where is he trading? Where are all the other players, too? Okay, that's not working. We gotta get back in the keep. Okay, keep preparing this. We're just getting pushed inland. There's nothing we can really do about this. Okay, you guys can repair this bad boy. Keep fleeing the scene, buddy. Come on, keep old. Drag him down. Okay, we managed to keep the Great Bombard alive. Janissaries can repair it. Ooh, man. I'm gonna be dead soon. Okay, we've thwarted his naval push from that direction. Let's get our navy and go fight here. Let's get you guys on farms. We still have 3,000 gold, but he's probably gonna try and find a way to take the relics. China's pure tyrant. Pure tyrant, good money. For China. Okay, we have all these great bombards, so we just need to make it really, really hard to take us down. Doing a little bit of scooting and shooting, but once again, we're probably going to be able to repair through that. Okay, let's make bills, do this. Well, and full uh, navy and mill versus me. It's got a lot of those goodies. Alright. Uh, is there any way we can rebuild this wall? Probably not a bad idea. 
Repair it. Repair the goodies. All right, so the Tithe Barns will live for now. Um, we're pretty much just a destitute beggar up here now. Let's go take our Bombards and try and knock this down, rebuild these walls here, see if we can get, get all cheeky here. Let's take our great bombards. We need to keep pressure on him. If like if the 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 tides of war shift, you know, and he becomes less of a threat, yeah, there's. Then we can definitely try and squeeze our way back into the game somehow, right? All right. So yeah, we are really on the back foot here. Fire Lancer is coming into party again. It's pretty persistent, you know. We're kind of do something similar to what we did last game, though, where we just kind of keep holding. Yeah, free resources. And uh, let's grab some of you guys. Come down. Prepare this. Maybe he's trying to, like, take uh, take my relics? Does he have any, like, way to do that? I don't think so. All right. So, yeah, once again, the, the ploy will fail. I'm not going to get that, despite some sweaty micro. Um, the Great Bombardos will hopefully knock on Heaven's door here. They've been cleaned out again. Pathing for the Pathing Gods. Scoot this way, and yeah, they've got a lot of my coasts here. They're trying to embargo me, but if we could just fight back to some extent. All right, good. Now, what we could do... Gotta buy some wood, fully repair this. Just build some, like, inner walls. Okay, they're creeping away. So that's gonna get repaired. Let's grab you guys, do this. Uh, purple, why? Why purple? Why, dude? Why would you do this to me? This makes no sense. Why are they English landing on my shores, dude? Purple! Purple, no! Why? Why, dude? Do you not know how strong the Chinese are? I might still be able to win this just because Great Bombards are OP, but... Oh my god, the AoE damage is so gnarly on those things. This, this doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever. The English player here, this is just straight, this is straight potato play. <laughs> I've, I've been dying on my island for like 10 years. Sai, why? Are you China ally? Maybe he doesn't know how strong China is. Let's, let's give him the benefit of the doubt here, huh? Because he's just going to lose everything. Well, like, or killing him earlier makes more sense to secure a trade network for yourself, but... I, maybe he's allied with China or trading with them. Also, you did this to me. <laughs> it wasn't just me, dude. Well, some people, uh, you know, they, they'll hold the grudges. Some people are just like dwarves. All right, let's uh, let's go like play here a little bit. We need to get some military schools back up because we have like none. Um, so we get them back here. Try and get those free units. Okay, so let's buy a little bit and see if we can just get military schools. <laughs> salt for the salt gods. I don't know, man. I don't know what he's thinking. You think, like, yes, if I kill Turin, I will take over this game. Bro, you got like 100 cannon towers. This Chinese player is an absolute, absolute tyrant. All right, so let's do like repair all these and garrison them. We got military schools coming back up. Uh, we could delete this. And uh, what do we have to get here? So sell some of this. Buy a little bit of stone. Is that going to be enough for another military school? This is basically all we're going to be able to do. This game is like potato raids. Because we got nothing here, dude. There's like a couple trees on the edge of our island. So I saying I just want to die. Dude, you gotta have that, you gotta have that never say die attitude, man, you know? Where like, you're just this rat fighting against the, the dying of the light, you know? It can win you games a lot of the time, honestly. It can win you games. Uh, the top is looking rough. We have our farmers, our potato legion. Let's get on the trees. At least we have the free Ottoman military, right? That's kind of cool. Okay, so let's do this. Make Janissaries. 
Dude, this Chinese player is so rich. He must be trading somewhere. I, I don't know what witchcraft is going down, but he is he is up to no good in the neighborhood. I don't want to go kill the English. They don't have any wood left. I bet you their island is just as destitute as mine. <laughs> well, playing the Ottomans on an island is weird. Yeah. I could probably still beat Platinum players with Ottomans, even in 1v1. Maybe. I don't know about Diamond. Probably not. All right. Uh, what do we got up here? Any trees left? Not really. All right. We're just taking the last couple trees. Um, I would really like to repair the Seagate Castle. That would be cool. So we're going to build some transport ships here. We need to get off this island and secure some trade for ourselves. Yeah, I wonder how Smeagol's doing. I mean, look, only one person's dead. Only cute kitty. Everybody else is, is alive and well. Okay. Yeah, you get the trees, boys. Take what you can. You're here for the scraps, baby. Your avidity saying, I guess this is what I get from trying to stop Chris from trading. Better get trolled get trolled by allied is what he's saying okay so there's some there's some weird politics afoot here i know i have to trade trust me i it ain't my first rodeo all right hopefully Sai doesn't give up i mean honestly english is the one civ that really shouldn't give up because they can they can just survive dude all right how are we looking here Janissary is going to head over this way. Yeah, Kino is the strongest, dude. I mean, I fought him for a while, but he just drowned me in money. I just, like, I couldn't keep up with this production. And, uh, yeah, we're going to have to try and get some trade ships going again here. And then, these guys are going to the island. We still have our two relics, which is cute, so we'll just have our free units go camp there, because he'll inevitably land with Fire Lancers again. Okay, let's go see. I would imagine he's probably embargoed me. So we're going to do this. Build a couple more of you. Look, look, Nanny, Ori, and Smeagol are fighting. Mom and Dad are fighting. Are we going to make it? I need a hero. Okay, all's quiet so far. Oh shit. Go my rats, go my skaven, land. I really wanted to rebuild the Se Seagate castle here, but... Okay, so let's do this. Load you guys up here. And you guys go here and here. We can keep everybody else at home. Alright, so I'm on the island of doom. See, I'm like a little rat nibbling at the heels of a titan right now. But the little rat can sometimes make all the difference. I mean, look at the Great Plague, right? The bubonic plague. Little Skaven did, did wonders here. So, like, he might be fighting somebody else, yeah? Sure. But we can do our part to help, right? We're gonna knock that shit down, dude. And, uh, hopefully, you know, hopefully liberate the Owled Island here. You see, he's probably fighting on a couple fronts here. So, let's do this. Oh, Yuravity, the Lord of Scotland, has fallen. Alright. Braveheart. He's down. Go forth, my minions, go! I can definitely see Ottomans being pretty scrappy in FFA with like good trade and free units throughout the game. You can maintain some decent quality, right? Go! Reforge the blade! Reforge an Arseal! Let's go! Come on! He's just gonna like land in my base and kill me right now. Just like, just like, oh. Hell yeah, dude. The blade has been reforged. We need to buy some wood though. This is really haggard, but I'll do it. Alright. Oh god. Okay, let's get you guys back. Keep the Great Bombards going. Oh yeah, sink those ships, bro. Come on, get some. Alright, here we go. Seagate Castle in time. It'd be nice to have some sort of healing here. Curses. He's really sweating for it. If we could do this, that's going to be pretty big. Oh, they're so cool. Okay, 
Come on, come on, come on, come on. Get the Seagate up. Hell yeah, dude. Let's go. Stop the trade. And the blade shall be reforged. We've got our little island back, baby. Let's go. All right. That's that's uh, progress right there. Progress, baby. Progress. Yeah, now you can you can come at this this glorious Chad keep, and we'll see if we can hold it alive. Oh, we got all the ships before they landed. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's going to get a lot of my bombards here, though. All right, all right, we stopped, we stopped the, we stopped the Chinese uh, attempt to retake the island. Let's go get these trees, though. Do we have any place to drop them? Not really. Oh, God. All right, never say die, baby. All right, so let's get this, get whatever trees we can. Transport ships are dying here. He's definitely like losing things in pretty heavily against us here, but the question is, he's gonna probably come for a main base snipe, I would wager. So it's good we have some stuff in the main base still. All right, let's repair these. Oh my God, he's, dude, he is so rich. He's already back with like a full Navy. Holy God. Dude, he's so rich. I just wiped a full fleet with like a landing force. Okay, we need to just keep trolling here. All right, is there any resources here? Yeah, we got some shoreline fish, baby. Let's go. The Seagate Castle has fallen once again. We just have to be the rat that nibbles. Dude, it's not even China's Navy being the best. It's just that he's so far ahead of everybody else. Oh! I mean, he's definitely losing shit against us here pretty hard. Oh, we're just sinking ships left and right. We're slowly running out of steam on the island. Like, he's picking off, like, unit, random units. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Let's go. All right. Um, that's right. This island belongs to us. Oh, never mind. It was just a prank. Ah, screwed up. We still have one great bombard at least. Dude, he's got he's got so much stuff. I wonder if like anybody is fighting him. Is anybody on teal? He is just the cackle. Okay. Okay, we see we see somebody sailing by. How much gold is here? Oh, there's still a thousand gold here. I'll take it. Teal has its like little alcove here. Mehmed Armory OP. Okay. Okay, into the into the rat's nest you go, buddy. Okay, you need to get back up there. Great bombardos. We'll do this. A little bit of slot. Uh, eventually, he was gonna surround me, though. I guess. Okay. You have some gold still. Let's do this. Yeah, a little bit of that. All right. I took down those boats again. We had our moment. Um, I'm peaceful mining. <laughs> you are probably 3v1 winning here. Uh, Teal would have still been this powerful even if I didn't attack Sai. He was just securing the south. I th I'm pretty sure he killed Cute Kitty and then just... I could be wrong about that, but... We did just see you kill a landmark. Wait, is he talking about me? No, no, you can't be. It wouldn't make any sense. All right. So what do we got here? Let's see if we can sneak some janky trade by to get some wood. It's a decent little route, actually. The vizier points have done well. All right, boys. Time of heroes. These units are free, so I think we might as well use them, right? Oh god, he's back. Let's go hide up here. The trade ships are circling about. Maybe we can pop one of them here. 
He is just uh, just a raid boss at the moment. Okay, let's start knocking down like these chads. No, 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 no. We don't want to give him all these freebies. Uh -uh, uh uh Scoot and shoot, baby. All right, Janissary's repair. One bow chad down for the count. The trader is desperately trying to come back. No landing in my base. Okay, I was worried about that. Maybe we get a little something. Just gonna lose a couple trade ships. Yeah, it sucks. Janissary screen. Pull back. Janissaries are free real estate, so. And another one down. Yeah, they cost a similar amount. The, the Great Bombard's probably in the bow sheds. We're definitely just trading one for one here. Could be a little bit cleaner. It's, I'm surprised nobody else is like going after him, but there, I guess there's still a ton of players left, so the people are probably um, have their own problems, right? There's, there's other shit going on in the realm. All right. Got you guys. Let's set up a dock here. Uh, we should have another one coming out of the Mehmet Armory soon. Uh, need to get a blacksmith near that. I believe it's not within the influence. That might do it. I'm not sure. Okay, maybe he's going to land here. In that case, I should probably uh, prepare an army. Of some sort. He probably won't have enough supply to... Um, Let's uh, just, yeah, like, can we clear those stupid, oh, there's still a tree here. Let's see if we can get that tree line. One of the trade ships got through, yes, it did. It was the bravest one, it made the Kessel run and uh, how many ever seconds, parsecs. Yes, yes, janky Star Wars reference. 43 stone, let's take it, dude. Probably setting up a keep like on the inland is gonna be smart. Let's, get, let's see if we can get a snipe here. Go forth, great bombards. Deliver the hatred of the Emperor. Alright, come on, baby. Go going to Teal's base is a lot easier said than done. Ooh, man. The fact that those things, like... Oh, even... I was hoping their repair wouldn't cost wood, but it looks like it does. That's unfortunate. We're the rat in the cage, dude. Right now. We just have to wait till like the dynamics of this game shift. We could just build up a full army here. Um, could get more farms. Is there any resources around they can work on? We have some dreaded sheep from the early game. So yeah, let's just defend our base. No sense in doing too much else. We have gold from the trade network here. Uh, China is just going to be a, such a powerhouse until somebody tries to tries to actually stop them. You don't really care if we lose a couple of random coastal things. Could make Springholds too. Where Smeagol has water control and a few fleet. Oh wow, really? This is actually very similar to last game. Very similar to last game. Just watch us pull out a win in the end too, that would be really funny. Okay. Oh, hello. He's going for the relics. He just landed some Fire Lancers there. I don't think he can take the relics though. Yeah, it's just more being annoying. Fire Lancers going for the old landmarks. Oh, we can rebuild those. It's just, an, it's definitely annoying though, 100%. Because that amount of resources, which is not a small amount, um, you know, he is, he is, he is uh, not going to care about losing too much. He's trying to landmark snipe me while. Just buy some wood and repair that. All right, so this actually gives us a good opportunity to do something I wanted to do earlier. Which was to secure our um, our stuff in the corner here. We need to get the military schools back. We still have three of them. Most of them are up here. China's getting its jollies off. All right. So what I'm gonna do is build this in the corner and then um, wall it in so it's safe from the uh, raiding. Okay, so we're gonna do a little bit of that. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, landmark snipe isn't a bad idea for sure. And it's not a bad idea, especially since uh, those relics are like one of the main things keeping me in the game. It would have been funny if you found a way to steal them too, but 
It's not going to be the case. Our tithe barns are gone. Um, we can set up another military school. Not a bad little spot. Yeah, I wish I had some updates. Teal is a monster. He's really rich. Super tyrant. He's definitely a super tyrant. Yeah, that's an apt way of putting it. Okay. Try a little bit of that. Dude, I don't know how he's fighting. He must not be fighting anybody else. That's that's the only conclusion I can come to. Alright. Set that in. So we just defend our base against a land invasion at this point. That's it. Yeah, Sai is still around. But, you know, I don't know what Sai can really do here. We got the five military schools back online. Let's just make Janissaries. Since he's spamming cavalry mainly. Gatehouse is up. Let's go grab the relic and bring it back here. And maybe he lands in again? I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe. Oh, he probably has more than 20k and everything. If he's just free trading and none of the other players are attacking him, then yeah, he's... He's had control over this little region for a long time. Just watch us go for a wonder with our uh, with our two relic tithe barn play. Alright, so that's going to secure that, which is good. No real resources to work with here. Let's consolidate our island space, delete things, make space. Um, we can't really leave safely. Walls are being taken down. Uh, why doesn't he just wonder? The reason why is because there's... Um, there's a lot of um, a lot of people still alive, and I think people don't recognize how strong he is. I don't know what was. Uh... Wow, well, yeah, your abity's dead, jeez. Okay, well we outlived him. <laughs> oh my god, the range, dude! All right, military schools, you make those janissaries. These are basic barracks here. Probably slapping a keep down back here would be good. So I'm gonna like. Start saving up for a uh, keep. So we just need a little bit more. And perfect. Just to protect our military school investment and make diving harder. I don't know why he's not. Yeah. I mean, I could get back in the game somehow if we got lucky. All it takes is like getting a little trade in and seeing, uh, seeing what's going on there. Okay, let's move up with our army here. Go do a little scouting. Military schools are just saving our butts right now. Okay. Wouldn't it be cool if the Great Bombards could reach all the way across? How cool would that be? Alright, so you guys have done this. Let's go do that. Try a little bit of that. So I'm, I'm haggardly trying to trade to turn. I have no trade. Yeah. Am trapped on island. Yeah, I'm like gull I'm like uh, the, the, lost, uh, the lost adventurers here. Uh, yeah, see, the thing is, like, I'd rather get a critical mass of Great Bombards, just because they're very good in, like, pretty much every utility. Why are the docks cheap down? They're only 100. Alright, cool. <laughs> Come on, boys. Build these docks up. Let's go. This is the most politics you've watched. I, I would have to say there haven't been a lot of politics this game. It's more just been, like, I attacked purple, and then China attacked me when I was vulnerable attacking purple, and it's just been a cascading effect of, of punishment since then. Alright, let's get the Great Bombards down. Teal's killing your docks. Yeah, I'm not surprised to hear it. Not surprised to hear it. Hell yeah, sink that thing. Be gone, Spawn of Darkness. Alright, so this is definitely a little bit, um, would be a risky landing for sure. I'm gonna like gauge and see if he if he reacts and comes over here with the fleet. Dude, look at that tree we got, baby. Yeah. Well, trading docks with Sai or dock trading wouldn't even be that good, sadly. We'd get like barely any resources. Fire Lancer Snipe is definitely on the table, though. I, I guess what's giving me gold is the uh, the trading up thing. Yeah. Okay, I hear big scaries coming. Let's go see if we can pop him in the face. We're going to do a little bit of scouting here. Let's knock that thing down. We have to just keep being a rat, you know? 
I wish I could garrison you guys in the docks. All right, turn around, blast them in the face. Let's go, baby. Hell yeah. All right, back you go. One Shad down. Turn around, pop them in the face again. Oh, we're sinking those bad boys so hard. Okay, let's repair it. Dude, look at this. We're just like nailing those things. Repair him, Janissaries. Oh yeah, look at this. This is a solid one here. We just uh, like crushed his fleet there. Yes. All right, that was pretty cool. Very happy with that. All right, let's make a couple of you guys. The Great Bombard's hanging in there, man. All these little things could add up someday. You never know. Um, all right, so is there anything we could do? Oh, man, okay, no. He's coming back for round 10. Oh, did I cancel it quick enough? No, not quite. So he's trading like one bow chad to one um, one transport ship, which ironically probably isn't even the worst trade for him, which is really funny. Yeah, look at that. He just lost <laughs> lost so many chads, just like lost eight of them. But it doesn't matter. He's so rich. He's so rich. Uh, it's super entrenched. He just just wrecked my landing force. Hey, at least somebody's trying, right? At least old Sai is trying there. That's good. Garrison the other two, yeah. I know, it's hard during all the heat of action. Alright, boys. You want, you want, you want more? You give me more free ships? I'll take it. Uh-oh, he's, he's pissed now. He's coming. Uh-oh, this chat is just like blitzkrieging him. Prepare it. Cannons, return fire! <laughs> Scoot and shoot! Starcraft Marine Micro! Okay, he's going landmark sniping now. We'll have to go intercept that. We have troops nearby, should be alright. I don't think he's actually gonna kill like the base, but we're gonna lose uh, a landmark. He really wants me dead, for sure. He wants that booty. We're not gonna give it to him for free. <laughs> Traitors! Stay alive! Alright, so we just killed a bunch of navy, uh, as well as these, the Turkish Sea Chansey. <laughs> yeah, it kind of feels that way, doesn't it? It's fun. Alright, so we just repair those, and we're chilling. All's good in the neighborhood, no drama. We got our tithe barns, bring you guys back. We still have all of our great bombards, I think we lost one in that whole scuffle. The problem is we're having to spend wood to get this done. Once we have enough, um... Don't listen to him, perp. <laughs> we have a proto-rat hobbit? Alright. Man, do we not have enough to repair these? Wood is just so such a sparse resource. Oh god, we're just like stuck on these islands. Hold for Sigmar, Sai. Like I am. We just have to hold. He wants the wonder spot. Yeah, no, my island's pretty good for a wonder. It's got like just that back corner. All right, let's repair this. This is the one we want. Oh, how expensive is wood? Oh, it's so pricey. Okay, is there any wood around the island laying around? Any like loose trees? I don't think so, dude. Can I scavenge my cannons? My military schools clearly have some wood, right? All right, well, let's get you guys here and then we need to get this back online. Sell food. Oh. This game has just been pure suffering, dude. Just, just non-stop. All right, so let's just like park the spears by the um, landmarks up there. Because that's clearly what he wants. We're gonna get another great bombard here, which is awesome. All right, let's get our traders in there. Is it not fixed? Hell yeah, let's go. All right, so now we got that gravy train back online. Now this is the second game. We won the first one, but now we're, um, although I would say winning is the first game. The first game was very weird. I got I played HRE and only one relic spawned in the whole map. It was it was incredibly strange. All right, you ready for round ten, bro? Bros, you ready for round ten? Is his fleet distracted with purple? I have no idea. We're about to find out. 
He's probably just watching the stream cackling. <laughs> I'll be back. All right, let's let's move down here. Okay, Janissaries. I mean, the Janissaries are free. He's getting pounded at, at sea here. Get those filthy ships out of here, dude. <laughs> I love that we just like keep wiping these fleets. Sadly, it's like a war of attrition that isn't going to go super great for us. Um, great bombardment placement. So another keep inside the base. Yeah, I got six traders in here. You can't fit more than that. All right. Come on, military schools. Pump the jams. Is he going to be back? Dude, it's fr it's it's freaky how, ma how many of these he can afford. Okay, we got our money back, so we got a refund. Look, he's just like the bow chad master. The only reason I can hold is because my shit's free, which is really funny. Okay, we lost one one great bombard, but should we just like sit AFK for like like 45 minutes till we have enough to wonder? Off tithe barns? No, okay, you want some free ships? I'll take it. Sign me up. Oh yes, oh yes. Yeah, I don't know how. I mean, he just shows up every time I build it. He's probably just patrolling though. Is what's actually happening. We have to just kind of keep that threat alive, though. Alright. Let's repair you. Let's power build that shit. Come on, baby. He's back for round 10. His big boats. It's definitely impressive, his um, micro, that he's like able to pay attention to this much. Cause I, I, but on, on the flip side, I could be the only one that's really like battling him. Oh, why am I building a trade ship? I don't know. Okay, I'll take another one. Dude, how rich is this guy, dude? Oh my god, he's making a bridge out of sunken ships. I know. I don't know how rich he is. I guess we should just keep making villagers, so at least we have like our supply going somewhere. <laughs> In case he land invades, I can just have the villagers ready to go. All right, let's go see what this looks like over here, right? Um, don't want to make a demo ship. Maybe we can make a Karak, with which I can like start knocking down his walls. Uh, up in the top, how are we looking? Okay. This is pure suffering, this game. This is like, I'm probably not the only one. Uh, what is going on map? Any updates? Uh, yeah, let's. I wish. I wish. You know. I obviously am playing, so the in-game correspondent isn't really a thing. But we're gonna build another keep up here. Nice. Him and Teal will fight. The great bombards are just positioned at the seven seas right now. Oh God, we got to get back. There's too many. Look, the Ottoman navy's back from the dead, baby. Hell yeah! Look at the the Chad Karak fighting against all the odds. Hold! Hold! No! It wasn't long for this earth, dudes. Yeah, we got we got him. We got him. All right, let's take some villagers over and go um, go land in his base and just see what it looks like. I'm just genuinely curious. Look, look, he tried to cheese me again, but I was ready. Yes, good, good. All right, go land there. Oh, he's coming for the great bombards now. I think thankfully Janissaries have trench guns. Oh, no, okay, he's still here with a bunch. All right, so his one cheese failed, so now he's going to snipe my bombards out. He might get one if he's lucky. All right, so parrot. Okay, well, it failed. But the blockade stands firm. Like, I wonder if it's worth it, even, you know, for this kind of, like, thing. This... Suffer. 
Yes, I have killed probably 50k in boats. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, we're just not going. What's up? Yeah, it's heals. Look, 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 he's trying to go after my market. Like, why, dude? Why this? Come on, dude. Okay, we'll keep farming him. Let's go. Back, back, back. Pair of that. A couple of spearmen have cleaned it. For all of his efforts, he gets a market. Which we can rebuild because we have Tithe Barn, so we're... Why did I even have a market? In the first place. The rat will, will keep biting, dude. Alright, so where do we want this? So we have our... Yeah, that's right. We have a market here. Alright, let's set you up. Get that keep going. Uh, Teal is trading mid hard. Prob max resource. Him and Smeegs are Dark Lord. Well, no, I was using the Sultani trade network, which is a market. Let's repair our, our great bombards here. We're going to have another one soon. Just watch this win with a wonder, dude. It's going to happen. We're just going to have like 50 great bombards in the corner. And we're going to get them. Because eventually, eventually, someone else is going to attack him here. Thankfully, this is really like low micro. It's not very hard in my hands. So, Yes, give me your free ships. Yes, bombards. Repair them, Janissaries. Good, good. <laughs> Let the hatred flow. The fact that he's hemorrhaging this much money, man, he must be so rich. Like, he's just hemorrhaging resources into this fight. But it probably is no sweat off his back. <laughs> Alright, where do we go from here? We got the keep. Do we want to get the emplacement? You know what? Probably not a bad idea. Just to make it, like, really, really hard to break us on the mainland. I kind of am tempted to, like, save up. Yeah, we, we probably could use a priest right on the Janissaries. Yeah, they're kind of damaged, aren't they? We'll get Friar Chuck over here. <laughs> He's just rage bonering on my border. <laughs> I, I should have more range, right? Oh, that's so cool. No, 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 no. Why are they shooting at a random spot there? Bad. Not going to get it, dude. Oh, there's so many dying. Oh my god. Guys, I feel like I'm playing a mini game right now. Like, it's just like, I'm like playing like an old... Oh god, the ships are just hemorrhaging. Now we just go back and repair and then we do, do it all over again. You guys remember how like in RTS games they used to have like... Yeah, look, there's a base here. Okay, you think that's you think that's gonna fly? Bro, not, not on my watch. This is why I wanted to get that emplacement though. The Great Bombard. Alright, so let's get these bills. Nothing we won't be able to stop with the keeps, probably. If he wants to donate some wood to the Emperor here, I'm down. Um, down here, yeah, we, we don't have the Great Bombard Cannon, but we'll have it here soon. He's getting a lot of Palace Guard. He really wants me, dude. He really wants to get rid of the thorn in his side. <laughs> Many have tried to kill me. Few will succeed, hopefully. I don't know. I definitely could die this game. Probably won't win. But you know, the thing about um, FFA in this in this old Age of Empires world is it's very much like uh, like Commander and Magic. Sometimes like people who jump ahead, like get focused, right? Four great bombards kill like a thousand chads, I know. We should probably set up like a loose tower here just to like see if he tries that again. Just for vision. Alright, you boys, we got our farms of the farm gods. Uh, military school is doing the work. We now have a great bombard cannon here. Don't listen to him. 
I have to I have to play politics against him. Your supply your supply is 100 here. <laughs> 108, bro. That's right. Okay. Let's get you guys, pull these bills down here. See? He's kind of getting a little bit chilled out of my borders. Maybe all those ships that he's been uh, hemorrhaging, you know, have been adding up. Alright, Bombardos. We're about to get another one. Dude, Ottomans, any other Civ would just be dead here. Any other Civ. But the fact that the Autos get the free units is just, like, keeping me, like, alive, dude. I would repair the TC, but it's pretty... I'm okay on the landmarks, I think, and, um... Yeah, we need, uh, we need, we need a little bit. Something, something here. Uh-huh. Alright, so we stand at the ready. Uh, villagers, you guys are hanging out. Let's just make more of you guys. Yeah. Maybe he tries to land here again. Who knows? Another failed invasion. It would be hard to rebuild the uh, Great Bombard Force. That's one thing I'm a little bit nervous about. Uh, you know, I usually play control decks. and Not control, but I play like... Uh, I'm a big fan of like monocolor decks and magic. Like what, seeing what they can do. Alright. Let's get you guys. Okay, let's have some fun. Okay, so we'll keep some dudes around. All right, you guys are you guys are hanging out at home for now. Yes, you forget about the rat in the walls. <laughs> he comes for you. Yes, <laughs> rise, rats, rise, my gremlins, rise. I feel like just some insane like vengeance boner right now. <laughs> yes, get into the base. Oh my god, all the rats are rising up, dude! Hell yeah, let's go, Gremlin Squad! Alright, load in. Let's go. He has wood, I know! What the hell is this? Oh, oh god, your base is just gonna get hate bonered. All the gremlins you've been torturing for so long. Yes! We get the last laugh! <laughs> yes, let the hate boners rise! Oh god, drop him! Drop him! All right, head inland. Your boats will not save you here. All right, we need to do this. Oh, God, justice. Justice boner. He's trying to muster it, but there's no stopping the great bombards, bro. <laughs> Oh, this is just so righteous, dude. This is so deserved here. <laughs> All right, let's see this and this. We need to uh, try and get some of this wood if we can. Justice! <laughs> Justice for all those who have been wronged by the, the Chinese naval tyranny. The last alliance of rats fight back. <laughs> Look, he was bullying Sai and I for like 45 minutes. It's like, how is this 3v1 happening? Oh, I love it so much. That's so funny, dude. All right. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> the rat. Damn. Dude, the rats the Skaven have done it. All right. So my base is alive. Um, now we need to come over here and like just get all that wood that we possibly can. Let's go clear the rest of this island. Um... Well played, Teal. Well played. Alright, so now what we need to do is we need to get some of you. 
Uh, is there any sense in going through his old base? Not really. Now what we do is we resecure the Seagate Castle, baby. Let's go. All right. That's what we're all here about. Def not that bad, bro. I was trapped on island for 10 years. All right. I like how he's trying to build me up to be the villain, as if I'm actually a threat. Okay. So, we don't need you. I don't know why that thing's there. Let's take you guys down here. He suffered the wrath of the Great Bombard stacks for a while, that's for damn sure. Erase all darkness from the world. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I'm gonna uh, have a little something to say about those docks for sure. Alright, so let's go explore the island here. And you guys load up here. See, that's like what I'm talking about. Like, that's like Commander and Magic. It's like he became such a tyrant that um, I'm going to take most of the docks down. Maybe just do trading in the middle. I'm not sure. Repair the Seagate Castle. Reforge the blade that was broken. All right. How did he have so much wood on his damn island, by the way? Okay, Red is just trading happily here in Aniori. So we need to go shut that shit down with our great Chungus cannons here. Although, let's wait till the Seagate Castle is repaired before we make any enemies. Okay, we're gonna leave at least one for ourselves. I was just a You were a tyrant, but you know, you poke the rat long enough and it's gonna bite you, dude. You, you are bullying me and Sai with your Bow Chad fleet and your trade. For far too long. Okay, Seagate Castle, it's coming back to me. It's coming back to me. This is a huge find up here, by the way. Yeah, I figured you were bullying, you were just like taking over your nearby um, bases for sure. Okay, we have the Seagate Castle, which is going to effectively. I'm trying to destroy, like, keep this under control. A little bit of gold here. Nobody's trading. Okay. So we'll get this one. So let's like wait till we have like a mass of them to push with. I want to see how many docks we're actually dealing with here. Alright. Because we can always trade with mid worst case. Right? You thought Sai was your vassal dude? No. He was just waiting for a moment to take you down because you were, you were our punisher dude. Smeagol's got Center Island again? Yeah, I'm not surprised. Alright, let's go see what this looks like here. We got our great bombard fleet in the middle. Okay, he's got some docks in the bottom side. I think this route is probably fine. I'm gonna leave these ones for now. I'm just gonna save them for later. Just in case we'll take this and this out and leave this one. Wow, this game has been wild as hell, dude. <laughs> the Great Bombards are just such Terminators, dude. Okay. Um, do we want to build another keep here? Honestly, one thing that could happen would be an English invasion. But we do have defenders. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea. Let's go up there and clear that boat out. Alright, that's fine. That is great. I'm not going to complain. Um, probably slapping down a keep here wouldn't be terrible. Let's do this. Yes. And uh, these guys need to go load up and head out. Probably just go sit in the base, to be honest. Oh, God, we're alive, dude! Why you don't give up? I was just the absolute turd. I was like the stain on the shoe of the of Kino there. But the you know the rats will will live on. 
That was Nanny or he's like trying to trade with me here. Yeah, see, so trying to find trade with my docks. No, thank you. No, thank you. Okay, we're gonna move the army back to the main island here. Cool. You guys do this. Keep the great bombards here. Let's get the sacred site. Just keep that going hard in the paint. Dude, autos, autos with the free military, man. Pretty good. You fully support the Hagger trade attempts. I know me too. It's pretty great. Eh, is that even necessary? Probably not. Dude, how, Kino, you know, if you're in chat, why did you? Well, you had so much uh, wood left here. I guess you were just strong, so you didn't need it, really, huh? <laughs> All right, so we got like just a full squad of Janissaries, looking extra cool. I don't think anybody's really close to a wonder yet. Uh, let's leave you guys. The military schools are still just going hard. Yeah, I usually I I make alliances if it's necessary. Like if I would have allied there with um with purple if I had known he was attacking like that. Thousand percent. Garrison it, boys. We have um what appears to be a vanguard force of elephants and scholars looking to land. You're chopping on another island. <laughs> so you're just you're just like. Feasting, dude. Just so so fat off the lands. I love it. Like, I kind of feel as if, like, a wonder here wouldn't be bad. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it. But we do have access to a bit. We have our great bombards just holding it down in the middle. If any, if a big navy comes, they can support the Seagate Castle is the idea. Probably should get burning oil. It's not what it once was, but it's very good. <laughs> mass Janissaries all day. All right. And just look at that. It's just like it's like how it was when we started. Well, I can you? I don't think you can well all low boats. I don't want them anyways. So we're just gonna destroy them. Send a message. Um. All right. So yeah, a lot of that going down. Um, stone would probably be. Next to impossible to get. Let's see what the exchange rate is. Eh, it's not that bad right now, actually. We have the tithe barns. So let's go here, and then you go down here. We have docks if we need to make military. I kind of like having this, like, big ground force here, though. And, um... Yeah, we could get a keep down there. Probably not a bad idea. Okay, let's go over here. That should do the spot. That'll give us the trade speed, and they're also getting the trade speed buff, I believe, from this keep, if they're going in the sphere of influence. Everyone is trading at this point. <laughs> yeah, certainly. Certainly seems that way. Nobody in the middle is trading, though. We got that one unlocked. Right, we don't need you right now, so. I didn't say nobody was trading to me. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, we're getting good trade money now. Got this keep coming up, which is going to, I believe, hit the influence aura. Should be fine. It's a little bit inconspicuous, too. Like, if they see the keep here, if it tags something, they might notice it. So I think this is better. All right, so now it's time to do the dreaded 10-hour scout, where we um, build a... Let's see. I don't want to cut down military, but you guys could probably go. Let's go sail around. You guys, go work on lumber. Let's see where else he's got lumber around. Looks like there's some of the mainland here. Just pure Janissaries. We're going to set up some towers and towers. And just like that, look at that. We're just like actually like kind of wealthy again. All right, so we got our little scout ship. It's not the prettiest thing, but... It's trying its best. We got nine great bombards. <laughs> He's coming for it. Oh boy, what's in there? Looks like it's a scholar. It's allied. 
Are you going to be able to reach him? I don't think so. Tigay Castle's going strong. So now we're getting the trade. Yeah, you can see we're getting the trade protection. That's so cool. It's so speedy. Our food sucks pretty bad, though. Alright, so we see Spiegel. I feel like we have to switch up our army comp a little bit. Oh, man, it feels bad deleting all these Janissaries, though. They're definitely very useful. Uh, who is attacking me? Yeah, because I don't have, like, a navy. So we should probably muster a navy of some sort. You guys pretty much have purged the lands. Yes. I assume he's part of the last alliance against Smeagol. Yes, absolutely. Of course we are. Okay. I want proof is what they say. Alright. Is there a way to like tell your military schools to stop? I don't know. I guess I could just keep canceling it, but... I don't think there's anything left to take on this island. I guess there's like loose wood, but it's probably just better served in trade ships. Alright, so let's get some navy here. Yeah, we have we have a, a light naval presence, which can be supported by the bombards from the coastline now. Oh, Jesus, what the hell is this? <laughs> that is his dead base allied. Oh man, hopefully Allied doesn't like discover my, my trade network here. That would be pretty unfortunate. I don't know how you would even know about it, but yeah. I mean I could go over there and fight with my army, but I don't want to like, hmm. All right, let's do that. Let's load you guys up. We can we can take our Janissaries down there. Put them to use. All right, so Light Navy is here. He's gonna discover my trade. Lovely. Transport ship. You guys load up. No, nope, no sense in doing that. I think she's gonna die. That's a shit ton of elephants, dude. All right. Let's get the naval ba battle ready to go. Naval battle. Dude, look how many angry elephants homeboy has here. Dear God, that's a lot. I actually don't know if we can beat that army, though, straight up. It's pretty fat. All right, let's roll down there and see. Oh, those cannons are just so cool. Alright, so we need to take this down and secure this. He's obviously going to want the trade for himself. A little scooting and shooting. <laughs> I feel like I'm in a movie. With all these like elephants charging me, dude. There's too many of them, Captain! Run the bombards to the coast, to the navy! Alright. There's too many elephants, Captain. I can't take them all. <laughs> well, I was being very nervous about losing my supply, but now, now Allied has, in a way, done me a bit of a favor. Because now I will uh, not be so attached to it. Dude, these elephants are just savage. Look at them go. <laughs> oh my god. You see how many he's got? Dear god, man. That's so many. All right, so what do we want to do here? Let's get some transport ships. The, the Bombards have finally met their worthy opposition, which is the Elephant Fleet, right? He's got some bills coming here. I'm not sure what he's going to do with this island. All right, down you go. Let's do that. Do this. Those Elephants not going to last super long. Okay, we're cruising down. He definitely wants his trade for himself. So let's get those ships away. Get these boats down. Patrol the coastline. Gather the troops, although we don't have great infrastructure on this island here. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if I want to waste wood building here. I'm kind of like happy with the status quo of this. All right, how are we looking? The elephants are pissed. Yeah, you know what? We have enough wood. It's fine. We can do that. Okay, he's like trying to secure the docks for himself. That's actually better than him destroying them. 
Dude, these elephants are so tanky. Thing is, he's not going to be able to replenish them. They probably all came from that landmark. Hopefully, we can outrange him, maybe. I don't know. Jesus. Uh huh. Is it worth it? I don't know. Let's go, let's go. It's an army of sorts. It's not much. It's something. Okay, let's get those boats heading that way. Resources were good for a while. But now I guess we just trade to the middle. It's better than nothing until we can resecure this. Alright team, do we have anything else to load up here? We got the one boat. Dude, the Dumbo fleet is not to be trifled with. He's gonna take me to the deli shop if I'm not careful. Strangely enough, um, like a wonder is definitely on the table here. Okay, let's do this. Elephant's getting hammered a little bit. Let's take this down. Let's see if we can kill this keep real quick. All those elephant guns are doing quite a bit. Alright, let's move you guys over. Taking casualties. He doesn't have that many left. We might be able to take him with our ground force. Come on, boats. Yeah, he's trying to get his trade going. Hell no. Not today. And then we got the Janissary blob coming over here. Trying to get a dock on my north shore here, too. Alright. So here comes the boys. Oh, with the, na the naval hammer. Let's go. Okay, I don't know how this fight's gonna go here with our guns, but we'll try. Make some Janissaries. They seem to perform okay against the elephants, which I believe have the cavalry tooltip, yeah. And uh, let's loop around the bottom, see if we can shut them down. Okay, it's, it's making progress of sorts. Transport ships, do we have anything new to load? Alright, let's drop you off. Yeah, so once again, the Elephant Dreadfleet was able to sink us. I'm seeing if there's anything else going on over here from Delhi. should probably delete these because I don't want to keep an eye on them. Okay. Definitely don't need this many transport ships. Lead a couple of those. Alright. How's the old eco going? Dude, his elephants are serious business. Like he's still got a couple on the island there. I'm trying to trying to get him. Let's go explore over here with our fleet and see what it looks like. We'll take our Janissaries, see if we can finish off the last of those elephants. Um, traders, yeah, let's have you hit that dock again. Here's Allied's traders. Oh wow, he's trading hard. Let's go like track the source of his trade. Alright, is it a dead dock down here? Let's go see. I think we may have found his rat's nest. Where, where are you trading, buddy? Okay, the Dumbos have been taken off the island. And, uh, yeah, looks like his, his gra trade gravy train may have come to an end. He's got bills there. Let's sink that real quick so he can't build on some islands like a gremlin. Oh, Janissaries. Hell yeah, they got the job done. Nice, nice. Smeagol's just, like, randomly fishing in some corner. Alright, how are we looking? Is he trading with Smeagol? Oh, shit, Allied was trading with Smeagol, so they must have some sort of a weird alliance. Or not an alliance, but they just, like, had a symbiotic relationship of sorts. Alright, so we'll keep these Janissaries here for now. But, like, we really don't need them too much. 
Okay, let's see if we can get a range, out of the range of that TC. Cool, that was a lot of resources we just spent there. Could get some fishing going again. Probably more cost effective than this, but having some bills on the island is, is going to be good. Do I have any repairmen on this island? I don't think so. Alright, so let's uh, load you guys up. We need to repair that neutral dock. It took some damage. Alright, so where's the big navy? There they are. Alright. So big fat trade for all. Um, currently, there's still a lot of people left. We have a lot of stone. Um, we could do some... Wow, we don't even have all these upgrades. Should have gotten that one. That one's actually pretty useful. Here we go. No, nope, we don't want to accidentally send our military ships in to attack that. Let's go see what's going on in the Seven Seas. Somebody else, uh, I wonder who's on the other sacred site. Looks like nobody is. Alright, so the transport ship should be loaded up. Let's go load it up here. Keep these Janissaries on the island. For now. Looks like Spiegel tried to have some sort of a presence here on this island. Oh, oh, allied. Or not, Sai. Oh, wow, okay. I kind of don't want to make enemies with the English, but that force could land and just kill me, so I'm like a little bit scary. That army going, Sai. Yeah, Smeagol's got his little rat's nest in the corner, which I want to take out. I don't want anybody trading with that. <laughs> He's just cursing. I don't know if Smeagol's actually cursing, because this game's filter is really weird. Um, yeah, we don't need you guys right now. Alright, so let's keep you guys here. Keep this navy here. He went sacred. Oh, Smeagol's trying to... Look, he's trying to get around the filter. That's really funny. Says the 500 elephants. See, I have to play my own politics here. Ah, uh, Allied's trying to trade with my old doc. I wonder whose base this is even. It looks like it's like a dead player's base. There's still so much wood on this island. Man, look at that. All right, let's go up here. We need to shut this trade down. We can't let him have that shit. All right, so heading up. We have a navy here, kind of protecting on the coast. Stop keep dropping the allied, he says. Wow, politics. Alright, so let's load up here, and then we need to come set up on this island ourselves. Allied, uh, trying to do some ninja goblin trading. Um, as far as this goes, this would probably be where it would go down. So that's going to put us a little bit behind in that regard, but it's okay, because we can just build more houses here real quick. Alright. So yeah, trading is going good. How many trade ships are we rocking right now? We currently have 31. It's pretty sweet eco. Um, a great bombard Janissary defense would be pretty epic. But there's still a lot of people alive here. So I'm going to just like keep trying to bank on resources. Sacred! Oh, hello. Yeah, hello. Hello, sunshine. Alright. So let's take our navy back up here. We're getting chased pretty good. Run to the emplacement here, get the Janissaries and Great Bombards nearby. And we're going to set up some TCs on this island to, um, to get the wood. That is a colossal fleet. Oh my god, that fleet is ginormous. Hopefully our Great Bombard can sink a lot of the ships. Janissaries on the shore are doing pretty good. make some of those. Let's get our traders. Um, cut them off here. Get those guys back. Great Bombard, keep doing it. Man, that thing is so good. I think we can sink this fleet. Nice, nice demo ship there. Go, go, Great Bombard. Do we have anyone to repair this? We do have some. I don't think it's going to happen, though. 
Overall, a decent little raid. Decent. He's gonna lose his fleet though, I think. I think we have enough to stop him here with the coastal bombard, just like methodically picking shit off. <laughs> look at look at this! What the hell is this? Danny Ori's rolling down with like a big trade fleet. Alright, so let's come over here. Resecure trade, 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 or ships. We have some trolling going on here. Oh, wow, is he not? Oh, we didn't get all of the ships. There's still a couple here. Come on, boats, what are you guys doing? Jeez, get up there. Our beloved dock could be in danger too. Let's go see if anybody de destroyed it. Oh, shit. Somebody kill our guys on the island? Sure as hell looks that way. Alright, so trade. Let's do this. Do that. And uh, yeah, we're we're still in it. I'm trying to beat the record from a two days. You see, when you're playing in it though, it doesn't feel quite as long. You know, it's like it's definitely a more pleasant experience. We have enough to wonder, which is pretty funny, but as long as none of them are watching the stream, we should be okay with that information being secret and safe. It's a nice trade there. Do we have anybody on this island? Not really. Um, cancel and cancel. We definitely need a lot more villagers. So probably not a bad idea to set up some TCs here. And those guys have finished their job. Let's load them up here, get a transport ship going, keep these great bombards on the coast. Nobody else is getting any free trade. We have the tithe barns going. Yeah, you did get 3v1, but that's what you get when you're a bully. You know, if, if you're... If you're conquering everybody and you're the strongest player, of course it's gonna happen. You know, you were just e you were pure evil, dude. Just, just uh, chaotic or lawful evil, I suppose. You had a certainly very strict uh, embargoes going down on us there. All right, let's make sure all our trade ships are going to the peak there. I don't know why I built a grand galley. It's just because they look cool, I guess. Free units coming along. I really, really wanted to get somebody on that island down there. Alright, where's that transport ship? Could have sworn I built one. All is calm in the neighborhood. Yeah, this is definitely the last game. This is going to be a sweaty one. Smeagol's clearly in the Dark Ages here. He's using his potato units, so he's probably not very rich. <laughs> he says back, you menace. Okay, Allied's coming in for round 10. So we need to go try and stabilize the Seagate Castle. Jesus, Allied, that fleet. Oh my god, his fleet is insane. I thought my fleet was good, but yeah, he's, he's all in on this. So I'm going to lose this entire core of units here. We have the transport ship? We do. They're not going to make it down there, most likely. Seagate Castle's trying to hang in there, but... Alright, so you guys need to gather up here, get our trade ships, hide out. We're relatively rich at this point, but, you know, people could just get sacred to get me off and stuff, and that would be tough. Okay, let's go hide you in the corner. Okay. Come on, boys. Smeagol might have some sort of trade. Who knows? I wouldn't put it past him. So, strength in numbers. Let's see. I'm trying to see if anybody else is trading here. We can send a couple Janissaries over there, just to, like, camp out. And now, if he wants to come to my island, I'm happy, because my Great Bombards will just plow him. Oh, yeah, dude, the big... Many many have tried to conquer this this great Ottoman Empire, but few will, few will get past the, the dreaded Bombard fleet. Oh, the ships just start folding up, dude. 
Yes, flee. Flee. Dude, the Chad bombards, man. So cool. Yeah, so he's got a little trade going here. See? We're going to come down here and see what we can do. All right. Let's do this. Um, Janissary should be there in a second to shoot down any traders. Wow. Absolute pounding there. Once again, we just need to keep banking resources, man. All right, let's drop these bills here. They can head to the southern point of the island. The bombards are just brutal. Like, trying to get past them is insane. Yeah, they like two shot those huge ships. Which is really good. Oh man, that's not good. Okay. Alright, so let's get some more warships going down there. Keep patrolling. Keep the trade machine going. We we need more money. Greed is good. Uh, who's on this island? Is it Smeagol? It is Smeagol, I think. I would like to set up a foothold there. That would be nice. We'll park this Dow here. I'm surprised, um... Come on, come on! Get the drop! Go, Bills, go! Go, go, go! Go, my minions. Yes, good. Good. Let's set up a keep, and then we can get a TC there, and hopefully that will secure that for us. Yep, like having those Janissaries guarding, they can just pick off any boats that come down that way. Look, look, Smeagol's trying to desperation trade here. That's what the Janissaries are for. He's got one horseman here, dude. Oh, God. Oh, and he's got rams? Are you serious? What is this shit, Smeagol? <laughs> what, what is... Maybe I just give up on that island. Okay, let's get our stone back. He says my income back? Yeah, I guess that's where he's getting it from, huh? Oh, the poor English here just getting pounded over and over. Allied hasn't heard no bell either. He's just like just a maniac moving in here, dude. He's ready for the Great Bombards round two. Allied, my poor toxic transports. <laughs> That's really funny. Okay, we might need more traders. Um, we have a decent standing military. That's where that would go. Let's let them, like, approach. Let's see how many people want to play the, uh... Let's send my military to, like, my massive expensive navies to their demise over and over again. Mini game here. Oh, God! Oh man, those ships just get pounded. And then he just like sails them to the corner where they just die. All right. The fact that Allied's able to do this though means he's definitely getting some hot trade somewhere. Wood isn't like a sparse resource anymore, so losing these isn't too bad. Um, I would like to get the middle re-secured, if possible. <laughs> yeah, we definitely probably have the most killed, I would say. So we destroyed some docks, which is cute. We'll rebuild those in like 10 seconds. Tries to get away with a couple ships, but once again, the Great Bombards give him the dirty and he is forced back to the Shadow Realms from once he came. Did you guys forget Tyrant French Meagle? Um, no, not really, no, we haven't forgot him. Yeah, if they keep thinking, I mean, Allied's really strong, obviously. We should, like, sail over there and see what he's up to, huh? This is a short stream? I know, dude. It's just, it's just, it's just every time. It has to be that way. 
Um, yeah, he's guarding that dock, looking good. We're gonna sail over and see what's up here. The Chad Bombards have done it. They've uh, held well. Bro, you've thrown like 80 ships on my shore. Yeah, he's he's like, he would dominate me at sea. <laughs> so he says, can you not drive by? <laughs> oh no. It, the funniest part is like, Sai. Sai is like, uh, is just suffering here because everybody like sails past them in conflict. How's this thing? Get that out of here, dude. Let's go see what trade we can find and other shenanigans, right? Mm -hmm. Heading off trade ships. Oh, there's just a wild relic sitting on that island there. Jeez. Okay, we might have to like make a Mission Impossible attempt for that bad boy. Okay, Allied's trying to shut down my trade. Well played, well played, evil villain. We seem to have found his trade nest also. I don't think he's going to want to come to my coastline here. I would love to get that other sacred site back. That'd be awesome. That's part of the game plan. Alright, let's sail all the way up to the top, see what we can find. Our trade is shut down for now. Until we can get some uh, some of that going. We're going to push up top here. Classic, I know, these are just the jankiest politics ever. Oh my god, look at Allied's little rat's nest over here. So we definitely ignore those elephants for now. Take down his keeps. Okay, let's head down that way. Keeps are hard to replace, you know. How many traders? We only have 13 left. They've been they've been hemorrhaging for sure. Do you have any transport ships? I could have sworn I built one earlier. Hmm. Use the remainders of our navy. Enemy destroyed Allied Trex's landmark. Oh, he's in, he's actually in a little bit of mortal combat here. It looks like. Holy shit! Oh my God! Red is in his base. Nanny Ori's all up in there. No wonder he's he's not able to pay attention here. Let's kill his docks while we're at it. Okay, let's see this. Those are hulks. Let's bring him down here. All right, so we might be able to hammer his docks down, which would be buy us a little bit of time. Sneaking a little trade by is always fun. And uh, where are those transport ships at? God damn, come on. Our military is pretty fat on land. We definitely have our, our game plan cut out for us, but we're way too poor at the moment to consider that. Alright. Get you guys going down there. He may have purged his, his water. Transport ship? Could have sworn I had one in the queue. Okay, if we can kill these docks, it'll like definitely stifle the flow of annoying fleets that he's sending my way. Let's make sure we shift click there. Get you villagers off to the main island now. Alright, let's go secure that. Man. Yeah, I don't have a lot of like, great space, unfortunately. Smeagol is so insanely rich, is he? It kind of, part of me doesn't believe it, but... Okay, we may have finally stopped that nonsense. Um, unless Smeagol's rolling on me now. Oh, hello. Look, Smeagol's like, come here with an army. Like, what are you, where are you going, dude? 
Does he really want to meet the, the, the fate of every nation that's been in this game? He's just got a couple rams, dude. What a troll. Did I not get these guys? I didn't. Okay, great. Alright, Smeagol. Yeah, you better run, dude. Get that shit out of here. <laughs> what are you doing over here, man? What is this? Okay, so that looks fine. Those guys have been stopped. And um, now we need to get more trade ships going, so probably our army is too fat. God, dude, we have 61 Janissaries here. Okay, let's just take like a fair portion of those down. The military school is kind of getting your way a little bit, you know? Okay, that knight can stay there and just waste his supply. The Seagate Castle of the Gods is almost back. Alright, so we need to secure that. Dude, the blade that was broken has definitely been reforged. Um, 100%. Okay, so let's get those trade ships. Okay. We need to work on spacing here. Now it's time for like a little SimCitying, right? Gonna have to delete these military schools. Relocate them. Alright, so let's go reposition those military schools. It's kind of close to the water, unfortunately, but it is what it is. Size landing with fleets. As long as we have the great bombards, I'm happy. Yep, nice. That should work. Yep. Alright, guys. So now we just keep accumulating wealth. And hope, hoping that we did enough. Um, how much is here? Oh, well, wow. it's actually a thousand gold there. Nice, we'll take it. Um, I need to get the keep network over two on that island if I can. So let's grab these bills, a handful of them. Do this. Gonna need that. And where, what does our navy look like right now? Alright, so you guys. More great bombards of doom. Transport ships all loaded up so we can take these guys to the coast and get that keep uh, for the speed. And then, yeah. Now we just hopefully. Uh, how much trade are we at? 34? Yeah, food's going to become a problem. I don't know how well we'll be able to defend with our current food surplus. So let's get some of these. You guys can get on the farms. Yeah, I have I have pretty good stone. It looks like I'm not the only one buying stone right now, though. Definitely not the only one. All right, so Janissaries. Looks like they're happy. Get that for the speed aura. Military balance is a little bit better now. But we just don't have enough wood to hold at this point. Like, is our trade is gonna get behold my amazing army. Our, my trade would get shut down really quick. Do you have the tithe barns, if I'm not mistaken? Yeah, with the trip, the tri relic. We got the one in the corner, which is pretty funny. We could get landmark snipes. Uh, you know, we didn't lay out like we got pressured kind of hard, so it screwed up our landmark placement. All right, so these trade ships should be going up here, please. Thank you. Smeagol trying to trade. Get that shit out of here, dude. No. Not today. We're the Dark Lords of these seas. Dude, the bombard emplacements are so cool. I can see how, like, if you're really good at bombards, or at Ottomans, they can just... Might as well just call them bombards. Uh, you could be really, really scary. Okay, so let's get you guys. And we need to do a little bit of this also. All right, and then um, as far as siege workshops go, 
Okay, and salute you guys. Doing a little bit of sim cityying. The English are for sure going to land over here. Yeah, so we could slap a keep down there just to make it harder. Alright, so we got 8,000 wood. There's still a little bit to be had on this island. Smeagol's little, like, love shack down there had a lot of, um... Had a lot of nice resources. Looks like people are still sending those. Oh, there's a Karak coming. Okay. Transport ships, do you have any? Yes, we do. Alright. Keep it going, baby! Smeagol gonna Smeagol, regardless of the IP, I know. You're telling me. And we get that. Yeah, it's gonna be hard though. We have like an English player who's pretty ornery around here. And it looks like he does have a navy of sorts. He's gonna be like landing on our shores real quickly here. Okay, load you up. Take you guys, load you up. Buy a little bit of that. Another landing force made for me you shouldn't have? So how many are people? So we got Allied, we got Nani Yori, we got Sai. So one, two, three, four, five. There's five people, man. Oof. That's like a super difficult hold. Assuming the people are decent players, which I can tell you they are. Let's get these great bombardment placements just because they're metal as hell. And uh, yeah, we're just going to be trying to trying to fight at the old shores here. Would like to get some wood. That was kind of my plan was to take some wood off the uh, the island there. Now oh, you guys load back in. Okay, let's just take him back to the mainland here. Our wood's okay. Yeah, there's a lot. It's it's a risky go for, but I kind of. I'm feeling it. Smeagol is still suffering here. Let's just take our Karak fleet and go see what the rest of the map looks like. He still has some docks. Let's just kill them. Let's even get our range there. Save that one. Nope, not gonna happen. All right, you guys get back here. Keeps coming up. Infrastructure is being built. And let's slap like one right down there too. Ali thinks I'm actually attacking him here. We built a ship, nice. Yeah, this is where the English should land their trebs. Yeah, we're we're not doing great on resources. Definitely in the pits a little bit. Okay, let's do this. And uh, is there anything I want to be do near the main TC? Yeah, landmark sniping at me is so possible though. That's like the scariest part. All right. How much eco are we at? We're at 108 eco, but so much military. We got some fishing boats building up supply. We're, our bank is coming together nicely. Um, Let's see if people are buying stone. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I'm not the only one buying stone, most likely. I'm gonna have to trade a bit here to get back up to the 6k. So there's like no space to do anything here. All I got is the janky 25 villagers. I could definitely get out raced. Oh, man. I'm kind of ready to pull the trigger, though. I'm ready for some dinner. So I'm like, part of me is just like, let's freaking go, dude, and see how this goes, huh? We got the trade ships, which we definitely need. Um, the main island, I would like to have some villagers out there if possible to repair the Seagate Castle. We have another keep coming down here. Let's get you guys to help out with that. This is a weird game. I can't be the only one who's ready to go for a wonder. I just don't know how to crack this. I literally don't have the game knowledge to Sai. I mean, 27 is, is pretty limp. So let's um, cut some of the Janissaries. For now, we're going to cut like a portion of those to allow for some more villagers to pop out. Turn off the Darth Plagueis the Wise, I know. Uh, I don't know about waiting. I think, I think you know, waiting waiting's fun, but even if I lose, who cares? It's fun. You know, it's like, it's cool to have those challenging things. All right, so that's going to be finished, and we could set up another one right here. Someone's building a wonder right now. 
If Spiegel goes for wonder, he says, wonder, you first. You good. You have, you have one sacred easy cap? Oh, see, everyone's waiting to pull the trigger on a wonder, it looks like. Okay, we can keep the great bombards coming. We'll get our island fortress nice and nice and juicy. This is a this is a tough one to be in, a tough position, because I don't have the most workers, probably. I can muster 34 at this point. I refuse to take my eyes off Rich Smeagol. Yeah, Smeagol probably is rich secretly. These great bombard emplacements are going to be awesome, though. Okay. So, how are we doing on villager count? Pretty respectable here. So now what are we looking at here? 34 bills, that's it. Um, we have our six land-based traders. We have 35 trade ships. Let's delete these Karaks. Oh, that's going to free up so much supply. That's really nice. Sai, you have to focus on Turin. Yes, focus on me. Let the hate flow. Do we cut these ships? I mean, 19,000, it's going to leave us with not that much on the defense. We'll have like some passive farming. But let's uh, get you guys ready to go. So we're at 38 bills. I'd like to have like 50 so I could, if somebody tries to race me, at least I'll have the edge on them. No, uh, it's, it's nice to build up this food bank right now though, guys. Our wood bank is okay. We can like, yeah, uh, man, okay. 40. We're still getting there. 20,000. Okay, it's time. Let's delete those. We can always rebuild them later. Ooh, okay. You know what? We're gonna, we're gonna go out on our shield, guys. So we need to get some of you guys and uh, get you to do this. It's time for Gotham's Reckoning, dudes. I'm just going to pull the trigger and go for it. Yeah, let's see what happens. I'm going to trade for as long as I can. And, um, yeah, hope for the best. Alright, I'm going for it. Hopefully they're not able to get my sacred site. Nanny Yori's building a wonder! He's trying to race me! No! Oh, come on. Don't lose this freaking race, bro. Who could have expected this? Okay, he cancels. Oh, thankfully wasn't like ready to full on go after us there. All right. So we do get the dub on the uh, site here. Cool. Okay. We got great bombards all over the place. Um, we can do one more keep here, which would probably be a good call. So we'll do that, like, up here. Now we just, like, is there any point to make anything other than Great Bombards? I was like, oh, let's make mangoes. Okay, everyone chill. We <laughs> They're panicking. Alright, so let's uh, get some navy out here, just to, like, be the first vanguard. And then we, we try and secure that with this. Make sure nobody can cap that. All right, here we go, baby. Let the bombard and placements feast. That's the plan. That is the plan. Okay, let's do this. Yeah, this is what I suspected was gonna happen. Oh, he's losing a shit ton of ships there. Maybe I can snipe the, um... shit, this is gonna be actually kind of hard. I'm gonna have to like build navy here. Yes, who wants navy? Okay. I don't see any religious characters. Okay, how are our trade ships going? They're still bringing in the, the bacon. There was no way I was gonna hold that for very long. Oh, but they're gonna have a hard time coordinating on the two sacred sites. Right? Ah, uh, is it time to delete the trade ships? They're giving me so much money. I think it is. I think it is. All right. So it's being decapped. We just, we we're like all in now, more or less. What navy? Okay. I think it's going okay. We have a, a big chungus navy coming down. 
If we can just, not, if they don't get the sacred site, we might be okay. And I think we can prevent that by sniping with um, our, our boys. Okay, it's being decapped right now. Build a navy to fight me. We still have some food, which is good. We have our Dread Legion at home. Okay, so we just need to cut off reinforcements for like a couple minutes here. Make sure nobody gets like a prelate or anything on there. I have 180 pop on cavalry. <laughs> Thankfully, this is secure here. Okay. Doesn't look like that's gonna go down. Uh, we don't want trade ships. It's fine. Let's uh, circle around the back of the island. Keep you here as a forward scout. Eventually, they're gonna be on my shores. Okay, somebody's trading like the heathen kings of old now. Dear God. A Delhi transport ship trying to get a scholar over, most likely. Holy shit, just like 500 cannons just landed there. Oh my god. Kill this, kill this, kill it, kill it. Oh, I just got 16 elephants! Oh my god, that's so good. Bro, I just got 16 of his elephants. Oh. That, that's just the goodness right there. That's the sweetness. This navy is going to be an expensive one to maintain, so let's pull back. Looks like Sai is going for the sacred site. Um, we want to do... Just keep circling around. Perfect. Naniori says no, come back. That's really funny. Okay. Transport ship is here. Let's move you guys. A couple of big English warships are on the way. Okay, we have an opportunity to kill a couple of them now. Maybe some friendly fire damage will happen, who knows. Okay, let's pull back. Do this. Land the Janissaries over there. Come around the back side of the island. Oh, we got the prelate, nice. Okay, yeah, the prelate's down. I don't even remember doing that. I was in a, was in a trance. Okay, so we can pull these Janissaries back now. They're not going to have time. Alright, cool. So we got the Metters. We have a pretty scary little stack of Doom. Uh, we want to be ready to crush the English as soon as they land. So let's take some of you guys. Some of you guys split up our force here. Nanny Ori going wonder! <laughs> the, the, the treachery, what? Hey, how many of you guys remember, like, an hour ago when we were joking, like, can you guys imagine how crazy this would be if we actually won it? <laughs> and here we are, on the precipice of having a decent chance. Alright, let's move you up here. Let's go see if that anything funny is going on that way. It seems like the, the Three Stooges here are having a bit of a hard time. Had some military sitting idle there. Okay. Let's make some bills. England doesn't seem to be up to too much. My trade, my trade is finally going to be shut down. Time to push. Yeah. Okay. Wow, nanny with a wonder though. That's pretty ballsy. It's pretty, pretty evil and villainous. Okay, my two armies are chilling. No, my biggest concern is uh, landmark sniper. That's like, because my landmark positioning sucks this game. Uh, I think we can take these cannons if they're not paying attention, so let's try it. Famous last words. Ooh, they're paying attention. Okay, never mind. Ally doing his thing here. Why wonder now? Well, yeah, I, I don't understand. Trex, please, you just sank a dozen. Oh, they're, they're trolling. They can't get their shit together. Oh, that's so funny, dude. I love it. I love that so much. I have like a pretty big force. Yes, just Reaganomics just trickle into me, brother. Okay. And actually, you know what? Like, land, letting them land on the shores and just plowing them with great bombards actually sounds better. Those guys just sitting here. I'm gonna split up our navy so we can see where everything is coming from. 
We're getting our free units, which is outstanding. We're pretty ready for things on either shore. Okay, here comes a little English fleet, so let's sail down this way. That's right, AJ. I saw you underestimating me earlier. I was like, come on, dog. I know, I know you I know you believe. Uh-huh. Uh, where else would they land? It'd be like up here, maybe. All right, let's pull it back. Pull it back. Because what we can do is we can get our great bombards and send those bad boys over to the coastline, like we've been doing all game, and just annihilate navies. We have the emplacements here. You just got to watch out for transport ships trying to wrap their way in. He says, okay, guys, we need to communicate. <laughs> yes, let the descent and panic set in. I keep a couple of you guys down here just in case. Okay, pull back, pull back. Finishing his navy, or so you think. The trap is sprung once again. We have the English being eyed here to make sure no funny business happens. Alright, time for great bombarding time. Oh yeah, dude, just look at those ships going down. We don't want to lose them on the shore, though. Okay, so they're going to run. And then they can turn. Navy down. There's an opening. Alright, we'll see about that. Okay, let's get the great bombardment placement. I, I, I don't know about this opening they're talking about here. Alright. Fully armed and operational Ottoman battle station. He says treks don't sink those. Oh, that's so funny. Oh man, I just spent way too much gold. Shit, that was a huge blunder. Oh god. I just like wanted to get enough for a keep. Shit. I screwed the pooch there, guys. I just wanted one more keep because that was like a vulnerable a vulnerable spot, you know? And I just spent like 6,000 gold for that keep. Ugh. That was really bad. Well, at least we're getting free units in our base, so we're, we're chilling. You guys ready to pounce? You guys ready to pounce? You guys ready also? Uh-oh, what's this? What's this, little guy? Is that some boats trying to land? <laughs> what's this, buddy? I see you. All right. Oh, God, yes. Give me that friggin' fleet. He says, GG, this is ridiculous. Yes. Let the descent insult, insult flow through you. Oh, great bombards on the coast. Hell yeah, dude. Thump them, dude. All game. Okay, what have we got? We got this legion here waiting for some funny business from the English, too. Okay, these guys can build some palisades here to make rushing harder. Alright, great bombards, let's go. Okay, down you go, pull the great bombard fleet back. Prepare the keep. Dude, this, this cannon defense on the shore is just so incredibly brutal. Like, oh, oh god! Oh my god, did you see that? Did you see that? Just like, those cannons just obliterating the fucking ships. We got the three stooges over here. Oh my god, this is so funny. Oh god. That was just pure punishment. Alright, back you go. Let's, let's go back this way. Okay, here they come. Just keep, keep great bombarding them, dude. Alright, let's make sure to load these things up. Little do they know, there are more great bombards on the northern shore. Oh, God. Now, we're only, what, three minutes away? Yeah, three minutes. Do <laughs> these shoreline cannons? Oh, every navy that rolls in is just getting punked so hard, dude. Let's make more. Yeah, we're basically out of dough now, though. All right. Unlimited great bump. Okay, what's going on here? It looks like Delhi's doing some stuff here. 
Asakir. Evan cira onun tüp emrinle cidi. Dikkat. Evan biri cidi tutuyor eden. I'm just like making sure there's no weird shit like trebuchets landing on some corner or something. Alright. I'm smelling a dub too, baby. Old man still got it. Alright, let's pull you guys back. Let's get repairs. He's coming back for round 500. Let's just get 10 great bombards on the coast to just like obliterate this fleet. You guys ready? Here it goes. Um, yeah, I could see a landing here in the front. Oh, those ships just melt like butter. Oh! Ottomans OP, dude. No wonder people say these things are OP. Okay, nice flank on the side there. It's really good. Look at that. You see the English flank? That's the stuff. You know, that's how I could lose the game if I don't pay attention to shit like this. But thankfully, he's having trouble moving, so... Alright, um, is there anything else? Alright, the matters are just all over the place. I have like 26 of these drum guys. Alright, so we need to just go Janissaries on the mil military school. Yeah, sneaky landing, for sure. Still have this auxiliary force on the other side. Oh my god, pushing into those things is just hell, hell, hell on earth. Need to make sure I don't lose too many though. I think I just lost a bunch on the shore when I was like busy there. Let's make more. Alright, what do we got? A minute 21? Oh, these are all matter. Shit. Must have had them on for a while. They're just like waving their drums at people. Alright, let's pull you guys deeper set. Uh, yeah, we might as well just spend whatever we can now. And the last cannon is down, and our matters are screening. Not their intended role, but they're doing great. Dude, I'm just playing the drums on their face. Yeah, absolutely. Alright, it's garrison, garrison, and garrison, you guys. Archers. The rams are coming! Dude, they're about to meet the dreaded great bombard defensive positions. Oh, those guys just get pounded. Alright, let's just snipe these things. Dude, they're just folding like paper. Oh, there's a big landing force. What's there? Knights and horsemen? That's Spiegel's core. Nope, shit, wrong button. Okay. 17 seconds? Yeah, they can't win. Not at this point. Uh, control shift A. Let's get all our villagers in here to repair if things get desperate. <laughs> Look at me! The little drummer boy, dude. Okay, we just need to snipe these and we're fine. As long as those die, the nothing else matters. Yeah, still got it. Let's go. Drummed it up. Oh. <laughs> what better unit than the Metter to drop the base? <laughs> That's right. Never say die, man. I was a rat in my base for like an hour, and you still can come back. You just gotta, you gotta keep scrapping. Oh my God! What a game, dude. What a game. Jesus. Let's see what everything else looks like. Oh, map's loading right now. It's probably going to crash. Only Ottomans. Any other Civ, I'm dead. Like, any other Civ. Maybe English could hold too because of the food and gold thing, but the fact that you just get all those cannons for free over, like, a super long FFA game is just insane. That's brutal how strong those things are. Holy shit. All right, guys. Well, I'm done for tonight. Hopefully you enjoyed that one. Um, drop a like if you did. We'll be back more with soon. I put, my island was pretty OP, dude. I had the best Wonder Island. That's the one thing I really had going for me is I had just an insanely good island. Um, Glorfindel, 25 for another great win. I should not doubt you. Thank you, man. GG, well played. See you guys next time. Take care of yourselves. Appreciate you all. That was a lot of fun. And again, if you did enjoy this, do drop a like on the way out. It helps out a ton. More hot Age Vampires action coming soon. I guess I'm going to have to learn Ottomans, but then they'll probably just nerf the cannons, right? Yeah, man, they're crazy good. Those, bo those bombards are disgustingly OP. All right, guys. Uh, killed units, can we? All right. This is for you. Uh, yeah. So I killed 1,400 units, and the next was Smeagol at 14. So he was clearly under heavy assault as well, but we were we were there. China's... Well, China wouldn't have lost that many units because they were all, like, Navy. So it wasn't, like... You can't see the total lost, like, resources or whatever, right? Yeah. All right, guys. Take care of yourself. See you next time. It was a lot of fun. Adios. Dovizenia. Get some rest. We'll be back streaming on Sunday, most likely, with Dune Spice Wars. 
And uh, from there, we'll figure it out. Cheers, my friends.